Hey guys, what's going on? FYMyPawn here, and welcome back to Divinity Original Sin Enhanced Edition. Since we last left off, if I do recall correctly, we managed to make our way through... Well, not Hyberheim, but we are getting to that. We managed to make our way through the Lucilla Forest, at the very least the beginning parts, and we aimed to help the White Witch with her issues. Now, of course, we went to the settlement to check out what was going on there, but it didn't yield much results. It's just a very zealous group of individuals, and there were requests that we had to do, but we can't do them just yet because we are not strong enough. At least I suspect we aren't. But I digress. We are now moving on to Hyberheim after we've done do one more thing. And we should be able to get ourselves a nice, bountiful treasure before we head in there. And I guess we'll see what happens, really. Hopefully we'll be helping the White Witch and the Well Brothers, because they are uh, two individual quests that we do have to deal with, but I digress. So, I digress. I hope you guys... I keep saying that. I hope you guys enjoyed today's stream. If you want to support me, the best way to do so is like, subscribe, comment... For those of you on Twitch, follows are always appreciated. Let's just get into things and see what happens. Now, yes, we are right at the cusp of entering Hyberheim, I do believe. So we don't necessarily need to go in there just yet, but we will need to do specifically. Yep, yeah, that's the attack act. We need to go back to the dog, which is over by the very front entrance here. And we can do some mining real quick while we're at it, so I guess we can do that. Oh, we're getting iron ore, nice. <laughs> well, I wasn't expecting this to be the first thing, but whatever. It's loot, so... Can turn that into uh, some items, I suspect, for uh, Marcus, which will be nice. And this should be the last bit. Yep, vein is depleted, and now we can go with Steve and Marcus. All right. Now, if I recall correctly, yep, yeah, we've already been through that. So, all we've got to do is go down this route, I do believe, and we should be able to find what we're looking for. At the very least, we might be able to find, uh... Well, yeah, obviously we're going for the treasure, so that is something we're going to have to look forward to. Seems like there's a few areas that we can mine into, so that's a plus. So we might be able to make something uh, nice with these. Just mainly iron ore, though, it seems. not Nothing true uh, crazy. At the very least, I can send the uh, majority over to Steve, because, well, it's not like he's carrying anything, right? <laughs> can probably turn that into something nice. Alright, Vade is depleted. Uh, let's go over to... No, not miscellaneous. It would go to ingredients. Uh, sort by weight. Okay, we go by the heaviest, so we're gonna send that to Steve. Okay, so he's now overweight. Uh, yeah, no, we can't carry that much, so we'll send... Let's see, we need to take off 10, I believe. Send that to Marcus. Alright, uh, split that by two more. Send to Marcus. There we go. Just barely enough. Okay, and there's an intricate, intricate scroll that uh, tears down the barrier. So that's probably how we get to. Uh, it's probably how we get to the Hyberheim. At least I think. Hey, Thuringer. Let's go to the right. There we go. Let's see what you find, man. And by the time we get to Hyberheim, we'll hopefully... 
Alright. We'll do a quick dig. See what we find. All that digging and there's nothing here. You sure, buddy? All that digging and there's nothing here. Come on. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Just a bunch of, uh... Stay here for now. Okay, so we're gonna try and go right here. To right. Alright, to the right, my man. What you got here? Okay, let's see if we find anything. Hey! And for our troubles, we managed to get a wooden club. Uh, which has the unbreakable status. It's a bit weaker than the paralyzing club. And it is still crushing, but not that good. It's a burning item, though. So that's something to keep in mind. Uh, 55 HP, though, for a headpiece. That's really nice. Let's actually wear that. That is going to help Marcus immensely with his defense rating. We'll lose out on the perception, but that's perfectly fine. Uh, we are definitely going to need to figure out what we're going to do with loot, because good gravy we've got a plethora to work with. In fact, hold on, let me check to be sure. What can I do here to lighten the load? Well, I could poison most things. I could send uh, some of these uh, scrolls over. Uh, we're going to need to keep the poison barrel, though. That is a given. Well, can I teleport in here willy-nilly? Not really. Hmm. Well, this is the downside of a... Uh... Oh, whoops. Uh, I want Marcus to learn that, actually. I think he can actually learn it because it's an adept skill, isn't it? But it will be his first summon, so that is actually a really good thing for him. Alright, learn skill. There we go. Oh, it requires... Ah, no, eye gouge. We don't need that. Okay, that's the wrong skill. I wanted to learn wind-up skill book. Well, I guess we get it anyways. We're gonna have to get rid of eye gouge, though, at some point. But, hey. <laughs> it is uh, currently plus... It costs four energy to use, but, hey. Considering we can use it all the same, it's fine. Hey. Clear as the Guardian Baby Blues. The treasure! She'll be glad you have it, as long as it helps you fight the monsters wherever you find them. Show those butchers what for, Swords Hunter. Alright, cool. We got the treasure. Now we can head out. It took us a bit, but considering I had no idea where the treasure was, that was considering... Well, that was probably for the best. Although, we are now very overweight currently. So we should keep that in mind as we go along here. Whatever. As long as we got the treasure, I'm perfectly fine. Okay, so we just gotta go over here, enter the pool, and uh, activate the scroll, which will deactivate the way back, I believe. Or something akin to that. Not entirely sure how this is gonna work, but we'll see. Better they can't teleport back than uh, vice versa. Alright. No, uh, special treasures around here. Oh well. Off we go. Oh, I guess we have to use the scroll, don't we? Alright, 
right, let's see. Inventory. Blessed Earth. We've already got the Blessed Earth status. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Yeah, we already get that. Okay, uh, what else is there? I believe there was... Yep. Hold on. Somewhere in, uh, Steve's inventory, I believe? Or is it Marcus's? Uh, no, it's Steve's. Rifts of the Multiverse, sing to me. Your voices I conduct into melodies yet unheard, weaving new pathways between worlds. From within this enchanted parchment, I call to thee. The spell has worked! But how can we be sure we're not walking into an ambush? We've made it this far. I doubt whatever lies beyond that rift can stop us now. Only the finest can sweet to coat my darts! Alright, well, let's get going. To Hyberheim. And we are brought to yeah. I like the chill about this place, isn't there? Think warm thoughts. Sorcerer's blood. A well cast fire spell and a come, mug of glow wine when we're me. through with this mission. Okay, the enchanted First sentinel goes that way. This Almina must be an elementalist. Okay, so do we go this way? I guess so. I kind of sort of winging it at this point. Well, at least we got a portal here. Not here, Source Hunter. Turn back. Okay, so not that way. Oh, here. Hello. These imps have been slaughtered. How could such meek creatures have deserved this fate? Imp maintenance diary. Hold on. Sentinel NKZ one five seven O zero or O two started malfunctioning yesterday. We'll send mimics to fix it. The corridor leading to King Boreas's treasure room now has additional security measures. Any unauthorized intruders will see the gate tightly shut before him. Secret kill switch installed in corridor in case of emergency. Good to note, good to note. Alright, well let's grab what we can while we're at it, I suppose. Although we're probably going to be selling quite a bit of uh, what we... And we got the portal, so yeah, I guess we take advantage of this. Alright. We are going to go to the end of time to sell our stuff. And we're going to go to the Earth Elementals. Oh. Did you know I've constructed a little theory about you both? Yes, I have indeed. You know, I was about to say we're just going to sell some stuff, but okay. The theory is this. You are not you. Or rather, you are you, but you is not all there is to you. And that goes for both of you. But I see you're staring at me like a cow stuck in an astronomy lesson, so uh, let me start again. I think that you carry two souls inside of you. One that belongs to the mortal human beings that you are now, and one that belongs to certain someones with whom we've both become acquainted. You remember that segment of the tapestry your efforts helped to mend, don't you? The two great generals, how they led the battle against the Void's first attack on Rivalon? Are you implying that the souls of these two generals are within us? It would explain a lot, wouldn't it? Your connection to the Void, your presence here at the end of time. True, the mystery of Starstone remains, but at this rate we'll have it sorted out in two shakes of Ahu's tail. As luck would have it, a new portal awaits. Perhaps answers do as well. So, onward. Oh, okay, so the portal there's working, but before we do... A second soul. Do you think it could be true?
His theories are nonsense. I am who I am, and no other soul is sharing joint custody with my body. Quite right. That historian has certainly lost more marbles than I have souls. That much, I assure you. <laughs> A little bit materialistic, but it makes sense given the circumstances. Alright, uh, because we went with the materialistic choice, uh, let's see. Yeah, we did lose out on a point for being immune to fear, but we're still high in spiritualistic, so we should be fine. Hey, Pete. Welcome back. The rock spirit. Yeah, could I get some trades going on? Specifically with Marcus, though. Okay, so we've got... We've got Iron Ore, so we got to keep that in mind. Uh, we could go to Psy Seal and, uh... Cook that up. Cook up the, uh, ore, I do believe. Uh, but before that, we're gonna see about selling the items, so we're gonna go buy gold value, and we'll sell what we don't need. Alright, we'll sell... We'll hold on. Alright, so we don't need... Alright, so this is perception, initiative, movement, and HP. Requires dexterity, though, which we don't have for either. Sell this, we'll sell this, sell that... Alright, we sell the crossbow. The belt is for crafting. We'll keep the pickpocketing. The chilled status, the robes can go. Pickpocketing is another thing, so we got two to pickpocketing, if we wear them. We'll get rid of the helm. Well, we'll keep the helm just in case, you never know. We'll sell the leadership dagger. Uh, we'll sell this burning. Alright, sell the helm. Sell this, this. Okay, do we need this? No, we need crushing more than anything, so we'll sell everything here. Okay, uh, we'll sell that. Okay, pickpocketing and initiative. Uh, this is an, a, another pickpocketing buffer, so that's nice. Okay, uh, I'm not sure how that got there, but okay. Okay, that's interesting, okay. Okay, we're gonna sell one of the hammers. We'll keep the decorative two-handed sword, I guess, for now. We're gonna need to keep the branch, hammer, we'll keep the knife, the wood axe, and the pickaxe, because all are gonna be useful. The old saber, I'm honestly going to keep because I have no idea where it's going to be, uh... I have a feeling that something useful is going to be done if we keep these rare items. Or the unique items, anyways. I like to treat them as, uh... I guess I treat them as quest items more than anything? I don't know. It's something akin to that. Okay, air, alright, poison stuff is fine. Okay, I think that's as much as we can get away with, but we will uh, balance to get gold, and we'll grab whatever we can to uh, meet the difference. Okay, to start with, let's see. Uh, death Punch, deal 439 to 537 damage. Uh, requires level 15. We're getting close there, but not enough yet. Uh, Oath of Desecration is already at 100... Okay. Well, no, that's a 40% chance. Uh, soul Taps. Lower all the target's power and resistances. Primary attributes are decreased by 2. Their bodybuilding willpower are decreased by 5. And all elemental and physical resistance are decreased by 50%. Uh, Vampiric Touch just heals. Uh, 
Uh, let's see. We could get a Poison Slug. That's an option. <laughs> uh, Tectonic Spray would get us a area of effect of sorts for Cone. Earth Elemental's nice. The Slug is actually going to be important for level 12, so we'll grab that. Uh, we can get Deadly Spores for level 12 as well, if we really want to. Uh, it is considered a Master Spell, much like the Poison Slug, though. So, if we want to get those, we're just going to have to level up uh, Geomancy, then. We are going to go for the... Let's see. Rapture's nice, maybe no. We'll go for Soul Tap, because it is a level 12 thing. And let's see, if we go in Vulnerability or Resurrect, it's pretty nice. Okay. Earthquake's also an option. We'll save Earthquake for a rainy day, I suppose. And let's see, can I uh, meet the difference somewhat? Not really. Well, I could probably get away with the animal hides, I think. Because that's a bunch of weight on us. Uh, let's see, anything else? We got a ton of arrow shafts, which are quite weighty. Uh, fake rubies. We'll keep those just in case. Yeah, I really can't think of anything that we would want to sell for the most part. Then again, that's just a hoarder in me speaking. So, that could be the reason. <laughs> ah, well. Uh, let's sell some potions. Uh, we'll get rid of air, fire resists. We'll get water resists. Poison resistance is obviously going down the drain. Uh, let's see. Keep the strength potions just in case. Earth resist. Well, I'll keep the elemental resistance specifically. But poison resist is definitely not going away. Uh, magical armor potion. And eh, honestly, we could get get away with not using those. Intelligence potion we keep. Uh, let's see. Deep up speed. No, we don't need that. Uh, roasted pork dishes. I don't think we can po poison these, so that goes. Uh, we can start selling some of these arrow types, I suppose, because we don't necessarily need as many of them now. Sell that. Alright, so four of those. Two of these. Let's see, three of these. Alright, three of these. I got that, that. Okay. That leaves us with 800 gold left. Okay, Fire Elemental is a thing that we're gonna keep. We got the Explode skill book if we really need it. Well, I guess we do kinda need it, but I digress. Uh, I think we can get away with evening things out now, and we should be fine. Yeah, we'll lose some gold. Well, he, he loses some gold, but we ultimately get what we want. So, yeah, there we go. I'll take my leave. Now, before we even go to deal with that new portal, I'd actually like the chance to... What's the word? If I can, I'd like to get to a forge or something akin to that. So we're going to go to Rift Travel, we're going to go to the North Gate in Sicile, specifically. And we are going to try and get to the forge, specifically. So that way we can start cooking the uh, metal that we have on us. And turning that into ingots of sorts. But in order to do that, we kind of need this here. 
Now we just wait for the group to get there. And we should be good to go. Alright. Now, if I do recall correctly. Alright, well first let's uh, open our inventory and send everything to Marcus. Uh, mainly, uh... Yeah, no, mainly we need to send the iron ore to Marcus. Okay, Marcus. Alright, so we first need to make iron bars. To make iron bars, we need to toss the iron in here. And we can do the same for silver, I do believe. Yep. There we go. And we'll get a ton of iron bars for our troubles by smelting these. And they'll be significantly lighter, I must admit, so that works for us. Alright, three, two, one, and zero. We can now do silver, if we so desire, which is going to get us silver bars, which will be nice. Two, one, and zero. Alright, recipes. Got a ton of potential combinations, should we use them. Uh, we can get a moonstone and any club and combine those, if we so desire. We can combine a magical ancient human skull and a thread. Uh, the same can be done with the tormented soul and any dagger. Uh, any knife as well, any sword, any axe, etc. Okay, so there's a lot of potential combinations basically going out. Let's see, uh, Moonstone and Club. Uh, we cannot make it. But we need more crafting ability to do so. Let's see. We can make, uh, blank... We can make an air skill scroll. We can make a blank witchcraft scroll. We can make bone dust, earth skill scrolls. We can make an inert voodoo doll. So what we're going to do is we're going to first make... Let's see. We got moon dust if we really want to. A magic tooth. Alright. And we can make wood chips if we so desire. Alright, let's make some thread. Uh, let's see. Witchcraft skill scroll. Alright, water skill scroll. You know what? Why not? Let's make a bunch. Alright, let's make some air skill scrolls. Alright, uh, blank witchcraft scroll scrolls can be made using parchment and pixie dust, it seems. Not gonna do that, though. We'll make some earth skill scrolls. Here we go. Uh, we can make a feather here, so we'll do that. We can make a ton of fire skill scrolls, so we'll do those. And we got an inert voodoo doll, if we wish. Uh, let's see. Weapons. Nail fortified branch, if we wish. Uh, handcrafted spear. Custom made sword. Uh, if I can, I'd like to make a custom made uh, mallet, if I can. And if I can, I'd also like to make a custom made wand. So, let's experiment. And if I take the inert wands that we have, or at least one of them, or two. So, let's see. Okay, we're gonna go with the inert... Do we go inert clawed wand? No, I don't think we do. Yeah, we'll use the inert wooden wand specifically. Okay. 
Alright, we use the inert wooden wand, and we combine... Let's go with air essence here. We'll combine one. Uh, potential combination, but needs more crafting ability. Okay. How's our crafting ability looking currently? We've got two currently. So, if we get more crafting... Let's see, gold value... Okay, we're gonna go by crafting here. There we go. That gets us a three. I'm not sure if three's enough. I don't think it is, but we can try. Okay, so let's see. Where was it? I know the wads were somewhere around here, roughly. Uh, here we go. And then we get the air essence. Nearly, but it still needs more crafting ability. Okay, so we need to get some items then with crafting ability if we can. So I guess the best way to do so is look around, perhaps? Uh, general store close indefinitely. You know, maybe I can uh, pop my uh, way in here. Alright, hold on. Let's stealth. Pick a lock. That is a... Uh... A secret. Ooh. Interesting. Two. Oh, we can pickpocket, apparently, in uh, stealth mode. We'll identify this. Alright, that's another item. We'll identify this real quick. Grab that. That's an additional blacksmithing. Melts it. We'll identify. Like that. We can go down here if we wish, but first we're gonna stealth with Steve. Close this. Alright, hold on. Are you? Hey. Maybe. Alright, let's go st And I guess we'll go down. I'm kind of curious what's down here after all, so... Might as well check it. Hello. Dead men can't jail anyone. The journal cover appears swollen and weather-worn. Its spine cracks as you open to a yellow page. Three of Reuben. They heave themselves across the tunnel like great slimy rats. Soon enough, I'll hear them tapping, banging at my cellar door. To think that smithy of Sicile will c close for this. These doors have remained open through sleet and shine for hundreds of years, shut for a passel of living bones. Fourth of Reuben. Today the last fires will burn in my forge. I have crafted traps, many of them. The undead don't like fire, so I've heard, so they'll get a mouthful of it if they dare to crawl towards the cellar. I only hope that no innocents enter the cellar before the traps are sprung. Alas, it is a chance I must take. I see. So apparently there's a bunch of traps going on here. Alright, let's pick the lock here. 
Pop it open. And let's take our time. Okay, we got ourselves an empty mug. Oh. Out. As I expected. Pop that. Okay. It's here. Okay. Uh, there appears to be another pressure plate, though, so we got to keep that in mind. We'll currently split off temporarily. Careful now, that's a trap. Oh. Out. Steve, back off. There we go. Marcus managed to get it through. There we go. Now, let's see. What's here? We've got ourselves a repair hammer, needle, cloth, and we got plate armor. So this is probably something that we should have done earlier on. We should have been uh, sneaky breaky about it. Ah, poison. Perfect. Like that. Saves us some concern. We'll just move over. Oh, no. Great. Good job, Steve. Good job. Turn that off. Okay, we won't be able to turn that off, which sucks, but it's fine. Hello, rat. Raticus. Good day. Dead men can't jail anyone. Yeah, so they can't. dangerous so we'll just go with the rain real quick and clear that all the way to my we'll wait for the uh, fire to burn out oh yep there we go okay let's uh, carefully move along the poison great All right, Marcus, just turn that off. Okay, can we get through this without... You know what? Hey, Steve. Okay, we can't target it because of the, uh... The bleeding fog. Okay. Hopefully the rain will clear that up. But I guess we'll see, won't we? Alright, seriously, stop. Alright, there we go. Just come over here. There we go. Alright, Marcus. Now you can march on through. And we get to another location. Interesting. Alright, let's summon a uh, scaly boy. Explode a skeleton. Let's see how he goes. <laughs> and apparently there's a skeletal scorcher here. And these guys are level 2. Okay, so... We would have had to come in here, essentially, if we wanted to, uh, do something. Okay, we're gonna go over... We're gonna go 4 AP over here. And we can go boom if we really want to. Which, we're probably going to. There we go. That'll get rid of most of them. 
We will then use, let's see, we'll activate Fast Track, which is five. We'll get the Strength buff going. I will then uh, charge at the Skeletal Scorcher here. I probably don't need that many tactics, but eh. Yeah, we don't need that much tactics, honestly. Oh, great. That just helped. Okay. That's not fun. Yeah, we've got... Yeah, fire. Okay, yeah, no. I basically helped. Okay, you know what? Let's just summon the Skeletal Boy here. There we go. And, uh... We'll just have their Skeleton Boy uh, take him out. There we go. Yep, we'll just march our way over with the Undead Swordsman here. There we go. He'll try and take out these Swordsmen, but... Level 11. Kind of uh, makes a difference here. We'll just run over and... Bonk. Done. EXP to work with. Okay, we'll do a quick rain. Get rid of the fire going. Does make me wonder uh, what this place is, though. Hmm. Alright. Well Whatever. Okay, we will identify this wand. It's probably a weak one. Like, it's level 2, after all. Oh, no, it's even level 1. Okay. Um, oh, we're somewhere in the middle of the subterranean tomb here. Okay, cool. Oh, hello. A fumbling undead mage. Boom. The unending darkness. And clockwork bomb. Here we go. Go, my minion. Let's go for AP worth. Target the swordsman. Alright. Kaboom. Do a... Yeah, or just throw down some rain, which has been helping. I guess someone else got here first. Anything else here? Grab that. We'll talk with the rat real quick. Uh, I am the exterminator. Alright, it appears we got a ladder here. Which leads somewhere. I'm not sure where, but I guess we'll see. Ah! There was a secret oh so here. Okay. That's concerning. Does that mean this leads around the entirety of the town? If so, that's really concerning. Hmm. I guess we'll see, won't we? We will try the rightmost destination next. Or see what's here, anyways. Before we go anywhere in particular. Woolgraph. Hello. You see a shady looking figure fishing coins of gold out of the muddy water that pools beneath the well overhead. 
His movements are quick and nervous. But nevertheless, he seems to enjoy stuffing what cash he can find into the many pockets of his shabby garb. So absorbed is he in his coin hoarding that at first he doesn't notice your presence. Suddenly, though, he pauses, looks up, and quick as a cat its talons, readies two daggers. Hmm. Very eager to draw his weapons. Oh, there, fella. Be don't mean you no harm. Tell me, what are you doing here? Your friendly tone of voice has immediate effect. The man quickly relaxes his aggressive stance, sheaths his weapons, and pulls a quill and a scrap of parchment out of one of his pockets. Dexterously, he writes down a couple of phrases, then holds it out for you to read. Mew, can't speak. You look professional. You the source hunter the wizard asked for. Indeed. Excitedly, the man turns over the scrap and pens a few more lines. Name's Walgraf. I admire you. No hero like Source Hunter. Sorcy or dead end. Please let me join you. If you'd like to join me, I need to know a bit more about you. Walgraf nods enthusiastically and pulls a couple of ripped parchment pieces out from his vestments. Hastily, he covers them with words and pushes them in your hands, one after the other. Been mute since I was a kid. Sorcerers took my voice. People think I'm stupid. I'm not. Get money, food where I can. Steal if I must. Not from poor folks. I'm a good sneak. Good fighter. Good with locks. See things you don't. Want to help you. I'm useful. Want to catch sorcerers. Make them pay. Please. Ah, uh, you've got a backpack, potion, resurrect scroll, and a source hunter's bow. Yeah, I'll take my leave. Uh... Wolgraf looks at you expectantly. Multiple. Let's see. Who are you? Hey, Doc. Hey, hey, hey. There we go. Wells. There are a few around Sisil, though one has gone tragically missing. Poor old Wally. Ah, Wally. <laughs> well, hopefully we can uh, save his hiney bacon by the time we're done just exploring this small little area that I. Toss the barrel over here. Careful now, that's a trap. Ah, uh, that is a okay, that's a bona fide trap, okay. Okay, let's open these crates. Got a Molotov in one, we got some arrow shafts, and a steam cloud arrow. few crates okay hold our enemies have laid a trap yeah another trap okay ow okay pain all right steve there you go rain okay rats just walking in the fire i suppose all right marcus I guess we can. All right, iron ore. Might as well grab that and turn it into bars when we get back up. And of course, talk to that rat there when we get a chance. And this should be the last tidbit. Yep, that's it. We'll quickly walk through the gas cloud. That way we get some, you know, nice old healing. There you go. That should help with uh, Marcus's recovery. But first, let's grab this. See what this staff is all about. 
Level 2, eh. It's alright. But we still need uh, more crafting ability, so that sucks. Alright, let's see what's up here. Ah! So this is how you get to this chest. Let's identify these. Grab those, and off we go back into the caverns. Which we'll probably just, uh, try... should talk to, if we can. These skeletons are always muddling about Brockus Rex. Is that a new type of cheese? They're always inventing new things over in Erata. Okay, so that's, uh, that's how you first learned about Brackus Rex, technically. If you really wanted to, that is. Alright, but there is nothing more here. I guess we can go up the well, if we wanted. So I guess we'll do that real quick. And off we go, honestly. Because we're quite good, I think. All right, up we go. And we're, oh, that's actually really concerning. Oh, oh, that's not good. If we hadn't cleared out the undead, they could have fallen down here and then uh, started making their way into Cyseal on the bottom. That's a very interesting, uh, very interesting development. Had we not stopped the uh, threat of undead coming around. We can get ourselves some more crafting skill. Uh, we'll open these barrels because we can. Probably get nothing out of it though. Yep. But yeah, no, we need a... Uh, we're going to have to go to some of the shops over here, see if we can't find a way to... Well, no. Over here, specifically. We need to see if we can't find a way to buy... Actually find a... Until his growling belly seduces him back onto the crooked path. Well, what do you think about fish thief, anyways? Thank you for making that would-be thief see reason. I only hope your instruction lasts. The last thing the plagued people of Cyseal need is a thief among them. True, true. Uh, he who smelts it, volume four. Okay, uh, let's see. Books, 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 books. We have, uh, we have volume one, two, three, and we've got six, but not four. We'll get four. Thank you. I'll take my leaf. And we'll read the book four, because that will give us more recipes, naturally. Okay, Marcus, yep, miscellaneous. Here we go. And we got ourselves the steel bar, apparently. Okay, that's a fish vendor, town guard, citizen, cheese vendor, veggie vendor, Jerome. How lovely to see you again, haver of the beautifully shaped shoulders. Sure. Okay, Marcus, we need you to sell some stuff, but before we do, let's see. Okay, so you got some perception rings, and a lore master ring no less, okay. We sold you an ancient skull ring. There is a belt of crafting you have, but we preferably want to get something crafting otherwise through another method if we can. Alright, let's see, hold on. 
Let's sell the paintings to you. That'll get us some money in our pockets. Let's see, do we have any duplicate books? IXVII, VII, okay. Sell that and then those. Five, two, uh, thirteen, and one. Six, uh, four, three, we'll sell three, two, one. Five, four, three, three. All right, uh, eight, seven, six, five, four, two, one. Okay, we keep those. Pa Patty Cake, Natural Tragedies, okay. Uh, we don't need our bags, so we'll sell all those. Uh, we don't need a pouch. We'll keep the uh, beer. All right, anything else? Let's see. Uh, I think we're good for the most part. Yeah, we just need to set the difference in gold and go from there. Take my leave. Do you have anything? Oh, no, noble friend. Your upper chakras are in desperate need of a good scrubbing. Fortunately for you, my homebrew tinctures will do the job. Or if you're in the mood for something uh, a bit okay. more electrifying, one of my air scrolls might give your system just the shock it needs. Well, I just need crafting buffers, really, than anything. It, that isn't a belt, specifically. But I don't think I'm going to be finding that, so I might have to craft it myself. Hold on. So give me a second. I'm going to do a quick Google search to see if I can't craft some scrolls, and I will be done. And hopefully we can move on by that point, but we'll see. Let's see. Uh, if we use blacksmithing and we go with a metal shield, we can increase the blocking of a metal shield. Uh, we can use scrap metal on a wooden shield, alternatively. But that isn't what I want. Uh, let's see. Okay, we're looking for enchanting, I guess. Okay. No, not enchanting. Accessories. Here we go. Okay, nothing uh, seems to be uh, viable for crafting. Just from a brief glimpse, so we're not going to bother. Uh, the best I can hope for is that some other merchants have some that have uh, boosts to crafting that aren't bracer types. But we'll see, we'll see. Okay, uh, you're bad. Hello again. How can I help you? Uh, you don't have anything here, so I'll take my leave. Alright, we go up here. And we go over to the girl here because she has some stuff, I believe. How gratifying to see you return. You are quickly becoming my favorite customer. Okay, let's see. We we don't want to focus too much on weapons because that's not going to give us boosts that we want. Okay, we don't need the initiative boost there. We need let's see. Uh, lock picking, bodybuilding. Initiative, pickpocketing. Nothing really too special here. I mean, there is uh, some skill books that we could grab, but no. I'll take my leave. Okay, that's nothing though. Rip. Oh well. We'll go down. The only th other thing I can think of is Arhu, so before we go anywhere else, we're gonna go talk with Arhu. If he has any items, we'll go for him. If he doesn't, then we'll just have to suck it up and move on. Mainly, we're going to deal with the end of time thing here. And then we'll go from there. 
vision like a confused spot after staring at How can I help you, my friend? Uh, let's see. Do you have anything that I can use, uh, trinket-wise to increase my, uh, benefits somewhat? Constitution, poison resistance, and immunity to frozen is not bad. Lockpicking's always nice. Um... Fire resistance, water resistance, and air resistance is a really powerful item. Uh, we're actually going to grab that. Uh, it is a level 11 ability, or item, so that's nice. Uh, there's also a constitution one, it seems. Uh, let's see. Uh, we will lose out on... We're either going to lose out on uh, burning or stunned. And the constitution, while nice, actually probably isn't the best choice here. As much as I do like the idea of getting it. Uh, dexterity initiative. Okay, that's fine. Uh, here we go. A level 12 wand that requires 6 intelligence, but allows us to summon air elementals. But it's an air damage wand. Interesting. You know, I may actually buy that. Or at least I'm tempted to, anyways. Alright, hold on. Uh, let's sort by gold value as we do. Uh, we... We'll sell this. We don't need this as much. We'll keep the bodybuilding. We don't need pickpocketing as much, but we'll keep it just in case. We'll sell the terra plate. We'll sell that. Sell the bracers because we already have a blacksmithing buffer. Sell those, sell the... Well, we'll keep the boots because those are pickpocketing, naturally. Old fire wand, sell that. The boots, the dagger, sell one of the repair hammers because we only need one. That goes, this, this, and we are good. We will set the difference with gold and we will be good to go. As for who we replaced that Gamberson with... We're going to give it to Marcus specifically, because he benefits the most out of uh, resistances. So I'll give him that. Uh, we are still vulnerable to Earth and Tenebrium, but that's fine. We will pass this to Steve and see if that's any better than anything we got here. We'll identify these real quick before we go. Alright, we've got a air and poison resistance. I'm not too concerned with that. Pickpocketing crafting. Ooh, that's really good. That actually might tip the scales in our favor. Yeah, hold on. I have seen the void, and it Let us send this to Marcus. Vision, like confused yeah, the bracers would bring it up to a four crafting. So I might be able to make something with this. Let's see. Put these on. Alright, uh, we lose out on the blacksmithing, but that's fine. We're looking for crafting to begin with. Alright, let's try it. So, if we combine the wand... Well, if, if this doesn't work, then we won't be able to make the wands just yet, but it's still an option in near future, but whatever. Alright, let's try. We've made it. We've made an old wooden air wand that is... Gives air vice. It is a 52 to 86, and we can make it again if we wish. Uh, same properties, but otherwise uh, no difference in what we make here. Okay. How about earth essence? Uh, old wooden earth wand. Okay, so I can make the wands, it's just old quality, which isn't really good for us. That's fine. Considering the circumstances, I'd say it's way better than what we've been doing. Okay, we're gonna go fire and earth resistance here instead of initiative. We'll send this to Marcus, as well as the other. In fact, we'll send most of everything to Marcus here. Uh, we don't need this, so we'll send to Marcus. Uh, we don't need... 
Well, let's see what the wands are capable of. Uh, let's send these to... Let's send the old ones to Steve. See how those fare compared to the others. Okay, so 52 to 86 damage with Summon Wolf. Uh, 52 to 86, but Head Vice. So, they do more damage from the looks of it. They just lack side buffs. Which makes sense, I suppose. We'll go with the Air Wands for now. And we'll go from there and see what goes down. We'll lose out on some uh, leadership buffers, but that's fine. Uh, we're going to equip this copper amulet, though. I do believe. No, because uh, that increases intelligence. We'll send this to Marcus. We'll send the uh, bow to Marcus after identifying it. Uh, there we go. Send to Marcus. Send to Marcus. Enlightened Amulet, we don't need, so send to Marcus. And there we go, I guess. Okay. It's an odd thing to be doing this, but hey, whatever. Let us finally go to that area that uh, the goblin wanted us to go, which is this... Uh, which is the Forbidden Zone? No, it's here. Okay. Yeah, we can't enter these zones, so. What have we here? A study? Wonderful. About time you got an education. Oh well, excuse me. Guardians. Dear guardians. When I see your faces, it is like the barriers of time tumble in upon themselves. But oh, how my heart aches when I think of the duty you adopted. It was more than even the gods had the right to ask of you. You did not want it, but you took it upon yourselves nonetheless, though many wailed and many wept. In a ruptured world, wherein all resolve had crumbled, you renounced life and liberty to stand guard and protect every last morsel of creation. When I despair, I think of your sacrifice. In my darkest hours, I cherish the resolve that was you. Think to be cherished, even though apparently we had to give up life and liberty for that to happen. Interesting, but okay. Dearest Henry, dear cousin and king, the honorable generals baffle me. Their behavior has become puzzling and erratic. They are the saviors of our realm. They are worshipped by man and divinity alike, yet they wander down strange and solitary paths. Word has reached me today that one of them have, has gone, vanished. Why, I wonder, why would they do such a thing now that the very world is theirs to command? And the other, such force, such sudden ruthlessness, such tyranny, a betrayal, almost, of the principles they fought for. These tidings sadden me beyond compare. I think of what could have been, and despair. What is it? There must be an answer. What is it that riles them so? Signed, Lady Helena, Countess of Leontia. Lealiant, I think. Alright, let's read the book. Tales of the Seven Gods, Volume 1. The Seven Gods were still young when they decided that each of them should have their own race to guide them through the eternal flow of time. And thus it happened that Rolik, the most powerful of all gods, becomes a patron of the humans. The burly Duna created the dwarves in his own likeness, and even lived alongside them in the mountainous caverns. Tyr Selendius, the poet, went to the woods and created the elves. He blessed them with near immortality and wisdom. 
the reptile goddess Zoral Stidia wished to command a proud warrior race, and thus she created the Lizard People, fierce fighters from the wastelands. The god Frogir, renowned for his brutality and violence, created the Orcs and enslaved them for more than 300 years before he left Rivalon. Xanteza, the goddess of mirth and laughter, wanted an intelligent race, versed in the arts of magic around her. She created the Imps, who were talented magicians and engineers. The goddess Armandia was an outsider, preferring to live in complete solitude. As the centuries passed, the six races spread over the continent. One day, Amadia's daladance with a wizard resulted in a birth of several demigods. She granted her lover immortality and decided that she would act as the patron mother of the wizards. Although wizards are not considered a separate race, they had their own goddess to whom they pay tribute. Interesting. We'll grab that. Grab this. We got another book, we got another ancient letter. Esteemed General, esteemed Sovereign, as you know, the vanquished void still lives. Be it caged in the imprehensible god box, we all fear it greatly, for it remains powerful even in confinement. The gods have told us, we need guardians. We need immortals that will safeguard the god box, and thereby safeguard our world forever. I can't think of no better candidates than the two heroes that were the Void's first undoing. What say you, my sovereign? Will you heed the call of the vines? And will your honorable companion do the same? Signed Henry, son of William, righteous king of Ferrol. Alright, let's read this book. Oh, whoops. I meant to read that book. Uh, let's see. Uh,. Uh, latest added, here we go. In the event of the Divine One's return. According to prophecy, the Divine One will lead our people into a better world. But what will this new world look like? I have read nearly all texts regarding Reuben Farol, the, author, the author of the prophecy. And the more I study his words, the more inconsistencies I find. What kind of person would this Divine One be? Will every living being see his vision for the new world, or will the Divine One select individuals? According to prophecy, the Divine One will destroy all evil. How can lovers of creation advocate for destruction? Can a Divine One really distinguish between good and evil? Or will he choose what is evil according to a preset moral code? Hard to say. Alright, we'll pass that to Marcus Ah, Off to Marcus. We're not going to pick up the ancient letters, though, I don't think. Alright, more vials to add to our collection, which will probably make a ton of... ...high hell. Alright, let's pop these open, grab these. What's this? More potions. Even more. Perfect. Alright, what's down? Hello. Hail, holy light, offspring of heaven, firstborn. Oh. You have a ton of uh, secrets, it appears. Compendium of Mortal Techniques, Ancient Tome of Body Mastery. Tell me about yourself. About me. The Guardian's first disobedience, and the fruit of that forbidden box, whose depths brought death into this world, and all our woe with loss of source I remember. I come no spy with purpose to explore or to disturb the secrets of your realm, but secrets of my own I bring. The secrets of another world, perhaps not lawful to reveal. How did you come to this place? Which way I fly is here. Myself am here, but in the lowest deep. A lower deep still threatening to devour this homestead opens wide. 
Not very direct, are you? Whence thou returnest, and whither wentest, I know. Direction hardly signifies. I'm interested in finding out about more about your secrets. To ask or search, I blame thee not. For Rivalon is as the book of the gods before thee set, wherein to read his wondrous works and learn his seasons, hours or days or months or years. All right, so I guess that just leads into trade. Okay. Compendium of Mortal Techniques and Ancient Tome of Body Mastery. I must admit I am curious what both of these do, so I will grab one and see what would, what happens. All right, we're gonna sell that. We don't need that. We'll keep that, keep that. Okay. Pickpocketing, crafting, obviously we're keeping that. Uh, we will sell, well, I guess we'll go by gold value first. Okay, we don't need this. We do not need the air and poison resist, nor the bow. Let's see. We'll sell the padded robe. Okay, telekinesis pickpocketing, keep the pickpocketing crafting. We'll sell this. And I guess we will keep that. Okay, that's that. We could sell some things here. Earth, fire, poison, intelligence, healing. We'll sell the healing potion, speed, strength, water resist, water, okay. Okay, magical. I don't think we're going to be using the Farseer or Ricochet book. We'll, we'll sell the Ricochet book, I think, at least. But we'll keep the Farseer, at least. Wait, hold on. A uh, higher sight score improves your chance to hit with ranged weapon over long distances. We don't use ranged weapons. Keep the Taunt, keep the Soul Stap. Divine Light. That is an odd one, but we're going to keep it all the same. Sets to warm status and decreases targets, willpower, and bodybuilding within the area effects. Okay. Explode we keep, poison slug, and earthquake we keep, tornado we keep. Uh, I think we just go for the balance here. Yeah, let's just go for the balance and we will be good. There we go. Alright, hold on. What is this book in particular? Uh, let's go with the latest added here. It's probably a potion, I would imagine. Or a magical? Yeah, here we go. Give me a second while I do a Google search on what the Compendium of Mortal Secrets are. Alright, unique items. Alright, we've got the Forgotten Language of the Fairy, got the Grimoire of the Inconceivable, Ancient Tome of Bodily Ma- a uh, Compendium of Mortal Techniques, here we go. Alright. When you use the book, it gives you three skill points. Okay. Alright, so... We're going to send this immediately to Steve, then, because he's going to benefit the most out of this. Alright. With that, we managed to get three ability techniques that we can use. And I guess the other book is a stat point, so that is something to keep in mind. Uh, but this does give uh, more versatility to Steve, though. So we can potentially get ourselves a very special book uh, if we go level up right, that is. 
Uh, it seems we're not going to get master skills just yet, though, so we have to keep that in mind, which does suck. Uh, what we can do, however, is boost up literally anything we want. So we could boost up wand, we can boost up dual wielding, for example, to make it a 10% uh, mischance. Or we could boost up damage even more, I suppose, is an option. Uh, let us go with... Well, we got three points, so let's see. Adding will cost three ability points. Uh, crafting, eh. Alright, leadership's fine. I guess we could boost up Lore Master to six, but mm, we'll be fine with five, I think. Could boost up Charisma, though, to a five. Um... I think I take the risk and go witchcraft here. Well, hold on, let's see. It costs four, four, three, three, three. Uh, pyrokinesis, honestly, we don't use a lot, so it's fine. We can technically use ice shard if we really wanted to, but honestly, I'm not too hard pressed on it. I think we go for Witchcraft or Geomancer. I'm gonna go with Geomancer, though. Yeah. So we're gonna go Geomancer here, get the boost there, and it'll uh, reduce the cost of uh, Earth spells by a bit. Pop this open. Yoink. Here if we can. Well, uh, hold on. Before we go. Before we go. If I am not mistaken, what we can do is... Go into our craft. If we go with ingredients of bottles, I do believe. Because uh, we do have a plethora of them. And if we go with the ooze barrel, we can make these. I'm not entirely certain I'll be able to make a powerful potion with them, but they will still cost a lot more, I do believe. Yeah, they give a uh, 66 gold per, which is gold in of itself. Not sure if I can uh, turn the empty canisters into something, but better to try than not, right? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm doing a lot of things, but whatever. Might as well get the crafts going. Oh, recipes plus. Nice. 2, 21, 20. Alright, come on. Kinda wish there was a way to multi-craft, but it doesn't really seem like that's the case, which sucks. We'll just have to keep going like this. Although that said... Hold on. Uh, if I can craft these, then... If I increase our crafting capability... One second. If we give ourselves the crafting ability here, crafting here... We go into the craft skill. Uh, what happens if we combine, uh... Well, if we, uh... Let's, let's split the poison into halves. Can this make mediums? It can. And compared to what we got here... It costs 66 for one. 
If we uh, split this into one specifically, that's going to cost 60. Okay, so the quality of poison doesn't really change, so... I I'm better off with numbers of uh, poison, not quality poison. Okay, I guess we'll go with the ooze barrel and finish off these poison vials then, and sell them in bulk for a uh, ton sum. <laughs> Alright, this should be the last amount of vials, and once we are done, we will finally go back, and we should be good to go. Tedious, I know, but it needs to be done. It's one of those things that just, once it's done, it's done. At the very least, I can use these uh, arrow shafts and turn these uh, arrows specifically into something nice and fancy. At the very least, the cost might increase. And considering these are coming from nothing in coin percentage, it's pretty, pretty good. Alright, come on. Okay. Ten more, and off we go. Well, almost off we go, I should say. Five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Alright. Take that off. Now, I do believe we have tons of arrow shafts to utilize. Yeah, we got like 42 here. We'll start with the arrowheads here. That's two fire arrows. Got a stun here. Alright, this costs 12, this costs 1. That makes a 192, so yeah, no, arrow shafts are the way to go for making gold, it seems. We just have to figure out the uh, proper crafting recipe, basically. Alright, so that's 432. This is 96. Alright, this would be... 364. This is 120. But all the same, they're going to be easy to make. 336. And the poison clouds, or the static clouds, the 336. So the poison clouds are the best costing ones out of them all. Uh, is there any more arrows I need to worry about? Not really. Okay, one second. If I take an axe and I use wooden logs, invalid combination, okay. Kind of sucks that I can only make wood chips, but let's see. Uh, can I do anything with crafting? One sec. Okay. All right, recipes. Okay, so to make a minor healing potion, we need an empty poison flask and a pen bunny mushroom or penny bun mushroom. Uh, mediums require minor healing potions in combination. Large require mediums, naturally. Uh, let's see. Okay. Okay, well, we, we don't need to worry too much about potions, because we'll just sell those uh, quite easily. Uh, there appears to be the filter of the fearless imp, though. Uh, it appears to be a potion which combined is an apple and pumpkin. Not that I need it. A vial of chicken blood, if we need it, is there, but honestly don't need to. Okay, we're looking for arrows. Let's go for arrows, specifically. Okay, to make the arrow heads, though. Okay, so if we want to make, uh, uh, are we looking for poisoned? No, we're looking for poison cloud, I believe. 
Uh, we can make poisoned arrowheads. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I can't make poisoned arrowheads. That's not too hard. I can also make silver arrowheads if I really wanted to. Uh, to make a slowdown arrowhead, we need an uh, oil barrel for it, which sucks because we don't have that anymore. Uh, but I can do this, if I do recall correctly. So what, what I do here is I take the arrowheads here, and I do believe I have Drudene, don't I? I have Earth Tongue Mushrooms, I've got Whisper Wood. Don't need Earth Tongue here. Alright, where's the Drudene? Okay, it's a plant, obviously, so let's see, it's not the Penny Buns. Augmenters, Jelly Runes, no. Drudene, here we go. We can make uh, charming arrowheads with this, so we'll make a bunch of those, I suppose. Because I do believe charming arrowheads are actually really costly, which will make our prices for selling even better for them. And we can also do poison flasks here if we really wanted to. Uh, if we want a Stunning arrow. We need tooth, or we need to use a tooth here. Uh, I do believe we have some teeth. Yep, teeth. And then we combine it with a knife. So we use the paper knife here, and we can make stunning arrowheads using them, which kind of useful. Kind of just sell fodder basically, but still, it's extra money that we can use. So it's. Good to keep in mind these crafting recipes to some degree. If only to make some uh, arrowheads more than anything. Alright, we no longer have arrowheads here. If we need, if we want to make silver arrowheads, we basically need silver bars, which we do have the bars, we just need an anvil. Uh, we can make explosive arrowheads if we so desire as well. Uh, that's assuming we want to make a bunch of fire resistance potions, which I guess we do have. Give me a sec. Uh, we just need... Uh, ch -ch -ch. Hold on. Uh, explosive arrowheads, yeah. We need fire resistance potions, just a small quality types, so... If we do this, that'll make explosive arrowheads if we wish. Which I'll make just a bunch, because why not? And let's see, if we want a steam cloud, we use the opposite, which is water resistance. There we go. That makes steam cloud arrowheads. Uh, if we want to make arrowheads themselves, uh, let's see. Uh, I don't actually know how I make arrowheads themselves. I think uh, the crafting recipe should tell me. Uh, arrows, here we go. Uh, we can make arrow shafts if we cut down a branch. Uh, let's see. We can make another charming arrowhead, so we'll do that. We can make a bunch of uh, explosive arrowheads. We can make some steam arrowheads. We can make some arrow shafts, which I'll do. We're gonna go for the explosive arrows here. Just make all of them. Okay, we can make the steam clouds. We'll do that. There we go. And we can make a bunch of stunning. So we'll do that. And there we go. Probably unnecessary that we've been doing this, but considering we can actually get some uh, well placed items. I think it's for the best that we do this, if only to increase our, uh... From this descent, celestial virtues rising will appear more glorious and more dread than from no fall. Well, considering, uh, doing this actually gets us more money, I think it's in our best interest to do this, so... Yeah. We'll just sell all the arrows. We don't necessarily need them. Although, I hope the profit margin is acceptable. 
Uh, margins get us a nice juicy 1,815. That's seriously not enough to get any secrets. But we could potentially get the secret of stars here if we really wanted to, but no. I'll take my leave. At the very least, we got the arrows. That's the good thing. Wait, hold on. I forgot the potions. The potions are the big sell here. Alright, consumables. We already get plenty enough. Uh, let's see. 95, 250. Yeah, that's not a lot. <sighs> Great. You know what? No. Take my leave. If your prices were a lot cheaper, I'd consider it, but right now, you're just not worth, uh... You're not worth the trade at the moment. Alright, let's go with Steve, and let's just get going. We've spent a lot of time already. Oh, hello. Wait. Why is there... Why is there a party animal here? The hell? The heck's going on? Hmm. Okay, party animals going here. The hell? Okay. Thing, though. Hmm. Eh, I guess we'll see, won't we? Well, we'll check up with uh, everybody before we go, but we really do need to go, because the pressing situation is at hand with the White Witch. <laughs> we really should be doing that. Alright. Alright, well, let us teleport, and we are going to Hyperheim, the cave. It is time to continue. We've spent way too long just faffing around. Okay, I guess we go this way? Alright, well what's over here first? Yes. Through this door, quickly. I haven't much time left. Uh, okay. A fanny Okay, grab that. Alright, Marcus? You have found the third secret of my sisters. Yes, three of four. You're a little too good at this, aren't you? Almost defies the belief, it does, that you'd find three of my sisters on one little adventure. Tell me, hero. Are you watching me? No matter. Solve the riddle if you can. I'm onto you, you know. I am the widow's legs, her shining eyes. I am the seasons in her two years' life. Which digit and I? Hmm. Interesting. Okay, how do we get through there then? Alright, so, uh, yeah. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to do some, yeah, I'm gonna have to do some, uh, shenanigans here. To a degree, anyways. 
Oh. Oh! I see. That would explain things. Okay. There we go. Oh, hello. Mecha Rodent Beta. And Mecha Rodent Alpha. Okay, so the Betas have a uh, bomb strapped to them, so I don't exactly want to stand near them. Okay, we're gonna go with melee power stance here. In the footsteps of the brawler. We'll activate fast track here. Here we go. Get haste, and we're gonna back off a bit. Okay, Mecha Rodent Alpha is gonna go. We're going to send in our summon. Or rather, I guess we could charm, couldn't we? No, we're gonna summon in Nick just to be safe. Alright, Nick. You know what to do. Alright, let's back uh, Steve back. Okay, the rodents are uh, backing off, it seems. Oh, they have stunned Nick. Great. <laughs> He's not going then. Alright. Mecha Rodent just moves around. That just gives uh, our little bomber boy the chance to go boom. Emergency sentinel duty engaged. Ow. Okay. <laughs> well, at least we're immune to fire. Well, not as immune to fire as I wanted, but whatever. We've done the job at least. That's the good thing. Okay, we're gonna go... 1 AP over to here. And we can do a charge against the Mecha. Uh, we can try and go for the trip, but honestly, I might as well just go for the two attacks. The two attacks are going to be better for us. There we go. Alright, we can get the double attack here. Sadly, it seems uh, Nick died in the explosion that we did, but whatever. We'll just get the summon up and be on our merry way. Oh. Ongoing. Okay, they're going for it. Ow. Alright, we're gonna move 4 AP here. Skeleton suffers a bit, but that's fine. Alright, go for the bleed there. Oh, it's oiled up. Nice. We'll move up here. And the skeleton ends a turn, only to attack twice. Nice. Okay, they absorb some because they are mechas. But it's fine. Okay, that's a miss. We can't go for a trip though. Or try to. Failed to trip, but that's fine. We can just barely attack the mecha rodent here. And get the kill. Alright, for our troubles, we'll uh, get a quick heal going for Steve. He needs the health after all, just to be safe. Always good to be at full health though, in general. But not before we uh, use Steve to clear up the rain. Alright, let's pop open this ornate chest. Got ourselves a holy hand grenade. Got ourselves a grand light air staff of vitality. It's alright. And a hard clawed fire wand. Eh, it's alright. Alright, what's over here? Some of them must be sentient. 
Oh, okay. Oh, no, it's invulnerable. Hmm. Alright, we'll back off then. Alright, sneaking failed. Yeah, it's fine. We'll just teleport Marcus over. There we go. I kind of wish I could uh, get Steve teleporting over, but it's fine. Ow. Okay. A chest. Alright, uh, Mecha... Okay, Mecha Rodent Beta. Toss you there. We'll just quickly... Boom. Alright, we're gonna move... Alright, let's uh... Do a quick AoE here. Alright, they're oiled up. We're gonna move over here. End our turn. Gonna move over here, and we're just barely out of the radius to take these guys out. Oh, here they go. And they're gonna start exploding really quick. <laughs> ow, ow, ow. Okay, yeah, no, fire's the wrong way to go. That's pain. Oh, whoops, I removed fire. Hold on. Oh, oh, I removed the rain. Hold on. Alright, open my skill book. Uh, we need to go to Aquifer. We need to get rain back. There we go. You know what? Let's just use rain here. There we go. That gets rid of the burn. And I guess we deal the Wrecker Road in the electricity way. Ah. Okay, uh, Marcus is uh, currently staying there. Let's see, we need to down some poison. Alright, so Marcus is. Or rats somewhere around here. I'm just not sure where. Where are they? I guess we'll uh, barricade ourselves with Fortify. And I guess we move over here as a fair distraction. I prefer to drown my sorrows with ale. I don't see a rat target unless All right, we take out Done. Those mechanical rats had explosives strapped to their backs. I'm what an utterly I'm dying. thing to do. All right, let's heal Marcus real quick. There we go. In the near future. Give Marcus a quick boost again. I know the ways of the serpent. 
Yeah, yeah no. I really need to get uh, more ways to cast Magical Poison Dart, though. If I can do that, then uh, we've got ourselves a healing. A free healing, no less. Alright, we only need one more casting, and we just put it on the floor, and then we are good to go. Okay, cast it on the floor, there we go. Okay, carefully, slowly but surely. Alright, come on. In the pool, and there we go. Full heal. Probably leads to nowhere, I'm betting. Well, no, it actually leads outside, so... Does have its quirks. Probably a trap, no yeah, less. I've spotted a trap. Toss that there. Alright, get the animal hide, the wooden crate will get the chicken foot. It seems this hidden switch controls yonder gate. Okay, and that's how we get out into Hyperheim, it seems, if we wish to do that. For now, we're going to hold off, because I suspect that's a, a bigger step than we're ready for currently. Besides, I suspect that we're going to run into a danger once we open this chest, so one sec. Uh, no, actually. Interesting. Okay, we'll grab this, grab that. Alright, there we go. Let's get going. Kinda wish there was a way to disarm this, but I guess there isn't. Whoops. Alright, off we go. I must focus. Yeah, that thing's invulnerable, so we're not gonna get rid of that. Okay, we'll leave it alone. Rather. It may... Access to King Boreas's personal wishing well is now limited to scheduled visitors. Only authorized parties of at least two will be granted safe passage. The ancient relic he asked us to hide is now also located near the well, and additional security measures have been added. Again, a single individual can in no way unlock its container, which should limit risks of theft. So basically... One person can't open it, but Stephen Marcus, on the other hand, could. Okay, we'll grab that, and off we go. We are left with one final place here, it seems. Okay, before that, though. Okay, take that, this. I've 
spotted something. Oh, good job, Marcus. What'd you find? Okay, we'll open this up here. Ah, hello. Um. Okay, Mecha Roosters. Alright, so we won't be able to benefit too much from uh, having a chicken help us here, so... Let's see. If we use this, we will have six points left, so let's use Fast Track to get haste. And we will attack the oiled Mecha Rooster here. Uh, we have a 70% chance to immediately gain extra 50% chance of your turn action points. No, we'll save that for now. Uh, we are actually going to go for... Hold on. If I can, I'm going to try and elect uh, stun them with electricity. Let's see. Uh, we need a water balloon specifically. Here we go. Set the electricity here. Alright. We won't be able to electrocute them though. But we can do this. There we go. And we'll back up a bit. Immune to burning, thankfully. <laughs> Oh, even more fire, but that's still not enough for uh, Marcus to be dissuaded here. Alright, we'll go for the smacks on the Mecha Rooster here. Alright, one more. There we go. Okay, we can get a Shock Strike on this Mecha Rooster here. That'll get the stun off. And I guess we can uh, boost Marcus's damage by 40% with Oaths of Desecration. Besides, with Marcus taking the brunt, we're fine. Take a strike there. Take a strike on the Mecha Rooster, and we are done. Unless my eyes deceive me, those are mechanical roosters. They sure didn't lay your blood run with corruption. Here. Okay. That's a lot of poison, though. Grab this. Unhealable leader in sight. Hello. Grimoire of the Inconceivable. You like that? Yeah, we'll, we'll just take that out of your hands. Thank you. Who are you? Almina, by name. Apprentice to the Guardian. Your so-called White Witch. And now it seems her... her failure. I came to her that I may... that I may learn from her. Learn to heal. To protect. But dark fiends invaded her sanctuary. She sensed they'd come. Sensed the danger that hunted her. But knew that to flee would only prolong the chase and cast more innocence in their path. They took her here. To this strange and terrible place. Place uh, 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 deep into its depths, where I could not follow. Why do you call her the Guardian? 
She is a protector of the weak, a champion of the downtrodden, the keeper of Lucullo Forest, its guardian for many years. How did you manage to talk to me through those statues then? That surprised even me. I can only move my energy through <coughs> through organic matter. And I doubted I could reach those flames. But the sentinels here, some of them seem to be, seem to be sentient. Be wary of them, the source hunter. I'd like to know more about this white witch. Of course, of course. Anything that may assist you, she must be restored, must be delivered from this place. Why is she taken here? A woman such as she makes many enemies. She who creates will always be pursued by those who wish to destroy. What these particular despoilers had in mind, I know not. But I do know that they meant no good to come to her. Why did they take her? That I know not. They hauled her away and out of my sight before I could get my bearings in this awful place. Do you not feel it? The storm, the elements in chaos at war. I've sworn to bring her just to justice for the murder of Counselor Jake in Sicile. Whatever, whatever lies you have heard, the Guardian herself will write them. She is no more capable of murder than frost of warmth. She'd sooner <coughs> destroy herself than another life. All right, what is this place? A strange dimension indeed. Unfamiliar to me until now. The Rift Runner who brought the White Witch here called it High Behind, but I've never heard mention of it before now. But the elements here, they rattle in their imbalance. I can hardly see straight. My mind, my very soul, finds no peace here. I slip into the next life with a heart and mind in chaos and confusion. Why have the elements become so unbalanced? Fairy is a realm of all elements. Earth, fire, water, air. When one becomes overgrown, or the others become weakened, chaos ensues. Something must have disturbed the balance of power between the elemental monarchs. Hyberheim is the winter realm, but its reach extends farther than it should. All right, I'll take my leave then. Please. You must find the White Witch. Whatever she may stand accused of, I'm certain of nothing if not her innocence. Free her. Speak with her and see for yourself. And tell her. Tell her I'm sorry. And and that I'll meet her again, perhaps, someday, somewhere, far from here. Well, that's a- Death is merely the first stage. Got ourselves a nice new, new axe here, a two-handed. One, a leader axe. Got some uh, sturdy male, er, male chassers, which have more armor and a little less of the. Uh, it's got more earth resistance though, so that's good. We'll get that on then. Okay, equipment. We will toss these on instead of the twenty ones in favor of getting more armor rating. Because having a nice juicy DR-40 is perfect for us. If we can, I'd love it to, it to be higher, but we can only do so much after all. But I think that just leaves... Yeah, we just gotta get out of here and uh, try and find the White Witch then. But it does sound like the White Witch is having some issues though, so we gotta keep that in mind. Should be fine all the same, though.
We're probably gonna be always discovered by these sentinels, but whatever. Slowly walk across. There we go. We don't take any damage from that, so that's nice. We'll have uh, Steve go up here. We'll have Marcus go along here. That way we can uh, split the split the roll. All right, Marcus. All right, get Steve back. While we're waiting, we can pull this. There we go. Group is too far away for now, but we can wait. Oh, hold on. That's a surprise. Oh, there we go. Hello! Ow! Steve is getting pelted. That ain't good. Okay, this might just be the death of Steve here. And I haven't saved! Oh god! You know what? Actually, hold on. Load. There we go. Oh god, another crash. <laughs> uh, well, I kind of expected this, but whatever. It always happens during battles. It's just so weird. Yep, we'll just let the uh, cloud sink and then we will load it back up. Kind of annoying that I have to go through this every single time, but... Yeah, so there's not much I can do. Alright, now it's loading up. There we go. Let's get back into that autosave here. There we go. Alright, now, before we actually do this... We're going to activate our wind-up toy here. Alright, come on. There we go. Alright, Nick will be summoned as well. Alright, everybody's in combat. Gonna run over to the rodent here. Go boom. Everybody's immune to burning though, so that is annoying. And fire it seems. So that does suck, but whatever. At the very least, we got the summons going. That's good enough for me. Okay, at the very least, Nick is taking the brunt, which is good enough for me. That'll at the very least help with uh, the barrage, for the most part. And Nick is looking much worse than it says on here. Hmm. Alright, there goes uh, our summon. Okay, I could go for a charm perhaps. But no, I'm better off going for the summon here. There we go. And we'll get some uh, distance over here. 
Okay, Steve is already in a position of power, so he can just start taking foes out left and right if he so desires. Uh, if I do a charge, though, I can get over to here, which I'm going to do. There we go. And I'm going to take advantage of them being prone and start dealing big amounts of damage to them. I'm probably going to need attacks of opportunity, though, with uh, Marcus specifically. That would be the most convenient here. At least in my opinion, anyways. Okay, Spoiler's taking some hits, that's fine. Okay. Start getting the uh, spider to attack the mecha rodents. Get a kill here. That's one. Alright, the mecha rodent here is trying to get some movement going. And is going to probably target the spider? No, it actually just moves. Okay, we can't target anybody here. Well, maybe. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Target's too far for that. We can start targeting these guys here. Alright, let's go for... Yeah, let's go for the, uh blows against these mecha rodents here. Alright, that's another. We could try to go for the alpha mecha rodent, but we can't. So we'll just do two shots here. And we're gonna start making our way over this direction. There we go. Okay. We're gonna try for the trip here against the Mecha Rodent Alpha here. I failed, but that's fine. We get another hit here. And we can go for the Mecha Rodent Alpha here. Get the stun off. Nice. We can have the spider go over to the Mecha Rodent. And start having him attack. Okay, now all that's left is the roosters and the and the Alpha Mecha Rodents. Which are gonna try and uh, pelt with range, I do believe. I'm kinda thankful uh, Marcus is just immune to burn. Saves us a lot of issues. You know... Hold on. Let's actually... Uh... Alright, how much does it cost to attack? It costs 4 AP, so... I need to minimize it as much as I can. Yeah, the most I can probably do is like a boulder bash here or something. You know, now that I think about it, I could just, uh... Nah, no. It's a bit too much. Okay. Yeah, let's just get into a better position. Let's just move over to here, I suppose. There we go. That'll work. Alright, we talk the mech... Mecha Rodent here. That'll get us a kill. You, you were right there. I think. There we go, good. Managed to get the kill. Okay, we go for the Rodent here. That's trying to run away. There we go. Double hit. There we go. Spider's being targeted. And, yep. Oh, one second. I just got informed that I'm going to have to be doing something, so I will have to delay stream just a smidgen, but it shouldn't be 
too concerning, I do believe. At least I do believe it's not a concern. It's something I'll have to do just over the course of the stream, but I digress. Alright, let's take out this Mecha Rodent as well. There we go. We'll move a block back. Okay, we can either go for the Mecha Rodent Alpha or we go for the Mecha Rooster. We'll go for the Mecha Rooster here. Get the three hits off. Stun and cripple failed. There we go, that's three hits. We're gonna have the spider go for the mecha rooster near dead. And we will end our turn there. Mecha rooster is gonna go for the burn. Still not enough to take us out though, thankfully. But it does take out the spider, the mecha. the mecha there does give us plenty of a chance for uh, Marcus and whatnot to actually handle things. But before we do anything further, we're going to quickly... I guess we summon another spider? That's the staple of our build. No, we'll get, we'll get a skeleton. It's a bit cheaper. We'll get the spider, or the uh, skeleton. And can we target either of these? We can target the Mecha Rodent here, or we can target the Mecha Rooster. We'll go for the Mecha Rooster. Alright, there we go. And we end our turn there. Go for the Mecha Rooster here. Alright, come on. 20%, 20 come on. <laughs> Alright, we'll have the Skeleton go over to here and start targeting... Uh, yeah, tar targeting the mecha. That's an end turn. Okay, it's gonna run off. Is it gonna attack though? That's the question. <laughs> I would imagine so. No, it's no, it's not. It's just running. Weirdly enough. Hmm. Okay, in that case, let's see if I can't heal S Marcus. Uh, it's a bit far. Uh, how much do we need? We need five mana, but we can move five mana worth to get over to him. There we go. Give Marcus a quick heal. I'll give him a nice juicy recovery. Smack that one. And we'll go for this mecha. Which we will end our turn after we use Fast Track. Failed to apply haste, but that's fine. Alright, let's go for the attack. Okay, we need to get 5 AP worth. Okay, so we, weren't, we aren't going to get there. We'll hold our turn then. Can we target this mecha? No, but we can move closer to it though. Let's see, it takes uh, 4 AP to attack, uh, we can only move 1 AP forward if we can uh, get there, that is. Still a bit too far, so we just need one more AP, unless we can, yeah, we can't use anything here, so. We'll just use 1 AP worth to get there. We'll do the, uh, well, I guess we don't do the stun yet, we wait until it gets up. But it dies before then. Yeah. These hellish little automatons have madness in their eyes. What is happening in this realm? Well, it's clear something's going on, at the very least, in this realm. Work with what I've got here. Will be going. Okay, press this. All right. 
Oh, great. <laughs> well, at least he's on the other side, at least. But, yeah, he should be on the other side, at least, so that's good. Although, it seems rain is just going to, uh, ruin everybody's day. Okay. Alright, let's pop Marcus with some, uh, poisonous recovery. Nice. Yeah, this is gonna be quite the hellish place. Do a quick save here. And I do believe we do a new save. Is our save. What infernal weather is this? Hello. Curse Hyberheim's horrid climb. If it weren't for my snuggly coat, I'd have been no more than an ice sculpture in no time. At least you blend in with the snow, Arhu. Aye, as does the White Witch, I reckon. For I've spied neither hair nor hide of Ikara in this frozen waste. Okay, let's see. You've got a leadership wand, another leadership wand. Okay, apparently leadership is a staple. Okay, cool. I might actually have to get both earth elemental wands here in that case. That's a really powerful setup there. Uh, the ring, dexterity, intelligence, and telekinesis. Oh god, that's powerful. I wish I could buy it, but I don't think I can. Whatever. We'll worry about it later. Then again, I don't expect us to find her out in the storm. Boreas, the king of this land, has sprawling dungeons aplenty. If Akara is imprisoned here, she's bound to be held in one of his icy cells. Breaking into his prisons will probably prove to be as tricky as breaking out of them, though. Not to mention that Immaculates swarm about this place like a school of herrings. Herrings with shark's teeth. And with that, we stand warned. Forewarned is forearmed, Hunter. Now to hire me to Boreas's palace in search of Ikara. And a fireplace. Alright, well, before, we, before you go, I'd actually like to sell some stuff while I can. So let me do that real quick. Alright, gold value, naturally. Let's see. We should probably swap over to our uh, proper gear. Uh, we don't need the axe. Sell that. Pickpocketing's fine. We'll sell that rapier. Sell the earth wand. Scale armor. Uh, I think the wands are actually pretty bad for uh, Steve currently, so we'll just keep the air wands. Sell those, sell that. Fire and air resistance, eh, we're fine. Okay, sell those gloves. I guess we could keep, keep these for Steve though, couldn't we? Eh, it's fine, whatever. It don't matter. Okay, consumables. Uh, we're gonna sell all these potion bottles, I suspect. Unless we want to merge them together to make stronger files, but it shouldn't matter too much. Yeah, we'll just sell the arrows. We don't use them enough to even warrant keeping them any at this point. Sell those. Okay, one second. Okay, so I've got to take a 5 to 10 minute break. Uh, I've got to deal with grocery shopping, so once I return, well, yeah. Once I return, we'll get to selling and hopefully we'll continue on with these frozen wastes. See you guys in 5 minutes, and yeah, 
See you in a bit. Okay, I'm back. It wasn't that bad. Alright. 
We got a lot of scrolls, I must admit. <laughs> but it's a good thing, it's a good thing. It means we have a ton of spells that we can use on a whim. Which you never know is going to be useful, right? Okay. Uh, po poisons. We're going to sell all these because we already have our own poison healing. So we don't need those. We don't need healing potions, that is. Poison bottles of water, though, are always going to be useful. And it appears that, depending on the type of poison, it actually increases the quality, it seems. Which is an interesting situation. Wait, hold on. Yeah, the damage actually increases depending on what you make poisoned. Interesting. But yeah, no, we're gonna get the uh, ring here. And I really want this leadership buffer going. Let's get the better wand here. And then we'll organize it with uh, cash to get the equilibrium here. There we go. And we'll send what we can to Steve before going to Marcus and going from there. Alright, let's see. Yeah, Steve handles the grenades and all that, so it makes sense that he have that stuff. We'll send this to Marcus. As with most other things that we don't need. Uh, same with the blanks, the those. We'll keep the orders here, I suppose. There we are. We'll keep the maps and anything really special on Steve's personage, but otherwise we'll send the rest to Marcus. Not sure why we have a bloodstone cage. Oh right, we need the bloodstone cage for something else. Alright, Marcus. I do believe you want to repair stuff, so give me a sec. Alright. Repair this. Don't need to repair the... that. Repair the shield. Repair the armor. Bracers. And let's repair the helmet just to be safe. Now if I do recall correctly, yes, we wanted to get this back in our possession. As well as the bodybuilding. Because that is just bona fide protection for us. Uh, the wand we wanted to send to Steve, because it's going to be a bit better for him. Uh, we also wanted to give him the ring, which gives dexterity and intelligence boosts. Which we will use in place of the green type ring, because it only gives one lore master. Versus this ring, which gives us a lot more. We'll send the ring to Marcus so he can sell it. And for this wand in particular... We're going to put it in the main slot, and it's going to give us even more leadership to work with. Uh, boosted by the obedient trait, no less, and that's going to give us a lot, I suspect. Hold on. Uh, let's see, leadership. It's currently giving us, well, 2 willpower, 10 initiative, chance to hit plus 10, damage plus 10, armor plus 10... Yeah, the leadership skill is really powerful in this game. It just helps, like, immensely, if you know what you're doing. But otherwise, we're gonna have to deal with the chill. Otherwise, uh, things are just gonna go, uh... Be problematic. Oh! Well, let's do a quick save here, now that we've, uh, sorted things out. Uh, I do believe there's actually something we can do here. Hold on. Uh, there should be an item on Marcus's person. Uh, one second. Uh, it's that book I do believe we got. Hold on. Uh, sort by latest added. Here we go. 
Grimoire of the Inconceivable. Hold on. Okay. Uh, hold on. We'll send this to Steve. Yeah, send that to Steve, and maybe he'll gleam something. The subheader of this grimoire reads, You don't even know what you don't know. It appears to be an unfinished work, and although you can sense something great residing within, you cannot access it. After reading it, it there doesn't appear to be anything in particular that it specifies. So... I'm not sure what it will do in particular, but it doesn't specify anything that it would do. Alright, we're going to activate our stance. We will activate a wind-up toy here. There we go. And then we go for the slap against the Alpha White Wolf, which will get us done. And we'll have, hopefully, the, ex the skeleton go for the uh, kill. Ah, boom. <laughs> they just go burning. Good. So it's doing its job at least. Alright, well, um. Guess we start with uh, dealing with the wolves, I suppose. We'll start with. Well, hold on. If we're gonna start with. So Are you kidding? I'm mad now. Okay. Great. I'm annoyed that I misclicked. I should have right clicked first before uh, doing that. Oh well. Well, now it's just freezing. Okay. Uh, we're gonna try and charm the alpha wolf. There we go. Okay, you know what? Let's load. <laughs> that was just a horrible... A horrible set of events. And of course we crash. <laughs> ah, pain. Well, at least my loading's pretty quick. It's not that big a deal, but... If, if this has to happen every single time, I'm just gonna be... It's just annoying, to say the least. Okay. Let's organize this fight properly now. Alright, Nick. You know what to do, buddy. Get in there. boy. Show him what for. Show him that you're the tank you're supposed to be. Okay, uh, they're completely ignoring Nick. And choosing to... Yeah, choosing just go everywhere else. Okay, uh, we're gonna activate this. We will activate Fast Track. Fail to apply the haste, that's fine. We will just uh, move a bit back over here. Alright, they're attacking Nick, which was planned. Okay, yeah, no, they're continuing to go for Nick, which is the closest target, and they're starting to split off now. Alright. We could try to go for the charm again, but we're gonna do a quick save here, just to see if things go better. Okay. Alright, well first let's do the proper poisoning attempt here. There we go. That'll get some poison going. We'll then do a midnight oil here. That way we cover literally everything here. 
Alright. Well, I already blow these guys up significantly. But I want to avoid uh, blowing up everybody else, so we'll go right here, specifically. And boom. That'll deal a ton of damage to these guys. Good. Nick has taken up a lot of hits, even though he's frozen, which is good. <laughs> Alright, good job, Nick. You've done the job. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a quick battering ram charge here. That'll get these guys prone. And give me a chance to strike the Alpha Wolf here, like so. No glory in this death. Uh, we can start targeting the White Wolves in the back, which actually is something I'm going to do. Alright, we can target the White Wolf here again. Oh, the White Wolf's actually dead already, okay. We'll move one AP there. Alright, Nick. Show them what for. Oath of Desecration, here we go. And off we go, just to get closer. Alright. Let's see, we can use the foot grenade for a massive amount of damage, I believe. 207 damage. And disease. Quite the nasty ability there. <laughs> okay, we can either charge forward, which we're definitely not doing, or we go around, which I am definitely doing. Steve will march his way over to here, start attacking the White Wolf, I guess. There we go. That'll bring him to half health. We'll move Steve a bit closer. And we have the attacks go out. 188. And we'll move Nick over here. Good job, Nick. Okay. White Wolf takes a hit. Goes for Nick again. But fails to realize Nick is an immortal. <laughs> Okay, continue to pelt. There we go. Alright. And that's it. That wasn't too bad. Get a lot. Okay. There's a corpse here. Oh dear. It's the white stag. A brutal end for our mysterious friend. A bad omen, if ever there was one. Ack! I got stunned. It's I don't think that's a good thing. On too. Be not dismayed, though, for there are many forms of passing. Yours. How wonderful it could be. You were caught by wolves, how terrible. It is in the nature of the wolf to attack the deer. This I cannot grudge my carnivorous neighbors. But the beasts here have grown more savage, the elements more vicious. Something is awry. What can you tell me about this realm, White Stag? Iberheim was once a mighty and ordered kingdom. But the elements are in disarray. Ice has overcome all. And the spirits of the realm of Fairy are in turmoil. What it means, I cannot say. 
I shall take my leave then. Farewell, guardians. All right, so long, White Stag. You were uh, very helpful to a degree, and it seems we've managed to get to a portal. Good. Uh Hold on, let's save. Oh, you have an awfully brazen way of sauntering up to a beast who'd snap your jaw off your skull for a little more than a kind look from yours truly. Oh, just a potion, okay. Hey. Tell me, stranger, are you always such a foolhardy boob? Bravery born of ignorance is hardly better than cowardice, as far as me and my little pet here are concerned. Whether I'm a hero or a coward, a fight will accomplish little more than draining both of our party's precious time and energy. Rock. Scissors. Aha! <laughs> I somehow managed to win it. <laughs> You're lucky it's so cold and miserable here, stranger, or I might spend a whole afternoon laughing while my pet played stool ball with your head. Well, tell me about yourself, Hilda. Oh, terribly sorry. I lost the last copy of my tell-all autobiography in the blizzard. I guess you'll have to wait for a reprint. Uh, so how did you manage to tame a creature? Or this creature? One of my finer moments of genius, I believe. I hardly surprise myself by being the only one among us with the wit and daring to find a method to tame the shambling oaks. Innovation has always been my forte, after all, and I couldn't abide the big dumb brutes tearing through our camps unabated. I certainly don't see myself handing over such a prized secret to a wandering stranger, though. Especially one I could so easily destroy! Oh, come now. Great genius ought to be shared for all to admire. Rock. Hey, got it. Uh, scissors. Okay, apparently I just got the uh, gimmick down. <laughs> I suppose you will fairly marvel when I tell you what I managed to configure. So, how did you manage to tame that creature, then? I fashioned myself a wand of sorts, you see, using tenebrium ore and a common branch. A single use reduces each shambling oak in a certain radius to timber. After a demonstration upon this particular beast's kin, I had an instant pet for life. The damn wands are fragile as frost, though, and only survive a single use. In the event I'm compelled to use the one I've got, I'll have to craft another to stave off the shambling hordes. Not to mention tenebrium's a key ingredient, so if I'm not careful, I could wake up half dead of rot! So, can you tell me what you're doing here? What does it look like, stranger? Official immaculate business, that is to say, none of yours. Alright, I'll take my leave then. I will be heading back to camp. See you there, if you can find your way through the blizzard. Sure. A bit cheeky. All right, fine. Hello. Careful of those great big crystals. Hyberheim's most dangerous criminals are kept there. Ah, I see. Great big crystals are uh, dangerous then. They say there's no way in or out of Boreas's prison, but I know the East Wind personally, and she says she's blown straight through a hidden tunnel leading directly in. Oh, there's a secret tunnel as well. That's interesting. Hello, dear. Who's that white-haired woman? There's something off about her. Makes the fur between the antlers prickle. Yeah, I imagine so. Okay, so there's a white-haired woman causing a guff up. Ah, we don't want to touch these ice crystals. Criminals. Some of the immaculates perished in the storm, it would seem. So much for their goddesses promises.
Okay, hmm. what's over here? Oh, ice crystal. Okay, Steve, take the lead here. All right. All right. Carefully move the chest away. There we go. Just move it all the way over here. Might as well be safe. Grab that. Identify this. What have we got here? Take. There we go. Alright, so apparently criminals are in here, so we don't want to release that thing. So, better to avoid it than uh, open it up. At least that's what I do believe is the circumstance here. Okay, we have a few places we can explore. I'm gonna go up this direction, I do believe. Where the where the wolves were, uh, you know, causing a kerfuffle. There is also this ice that we can check out, so I guess we'll go back a little bit. Uh, we can use the campfire, I believe, to actually uh, cook some things, so give me a second. I might actually try and see if I can cook the uh, ore as well. Uh, no, it actually gets rid of the uh, cold. Yeah, it only uh, gets rid of it for a second though, which is not good. Well, there's nothing here anyway, so it's fine. Alright, let's move. Alright, we got a slain wolf here. Not sure if that's a good or bad thing. Probably a bad thing. Yeah, that's a lot of death. Not good. Hey! Hey, buddy! Hey, hold on, hold on. Hey! Alright, we are gonna talk with him. The woman in red has done it now. All the elemental monarchs gone. All but the Winter King. Oh. I see. Interesting. There's so much racket over at the Elemental Forge. The imps and humans are doing some sort of crazy, bloody dance. Okay. Hello. This fleeting realm, fairy that is, one or other of the sovereigns always got their frosties in a flake over something. I don't know what the trouble is this time, but I'm sure it'll blow over. Ah, you got a, just you just got a bit cold. It's so cold here. Castle. Fun with fluids. Okay, grab that. Got a minor perception potion. That's actually going to be really nice in certain circumstances. If we do make it, that is. We'll grab the gold, though, because the more we have, the better. Okay. <laughs> Well, they're trying their best, but alas. Oh, hold on. Do a quick save here, considering it seems like a combat's about to erupt. Tamed White Wolves, Wolfmaster. 
No, let's uh, go with this summon uh, from Steve's category. We will summon ourselves Nick. Alright, Nick, you know what to do. Go in. At your service, Hunter. Thanks. My, my, what's this then? To what do we owe the visitation of such an interesting intruder? Speak up, love. For your charms won't save you from a swift and brutal demise if we deem you a threat. What a shame it would be for us to come to blows when our times would be better spent getting to know one another. Rock. Oh! Whoop! Okay, you managed to get that one. How about scissors? Boom. Alright, you're gonna go for paper or rock? Yep. As expected. Aha! Paper. I think I could have put it better myself, fair stranger. Come and make yourself comfortable in our camp. Our fire is small, but it'll take the chill from your bones. And perhaps you and I can reunite for a little tete-a-tete -tete once you've gotten warm. Alright, you got us. Uh, you got some nice stuff. Charming place, this, wouldn't you agree? I wouldn't, in fact. Hyberheim, it is called. Or at least, that is the name it is given to it by its ruler, King Boreas. I tell you, I've seen enough snow to last me a lifetime. My hands are numb, my feet are numb, my lips are blue. And I'll spare you further details about the rest of my anatomy. What that a stronger son could break Boreas's wintry spell. Well, tell me about King Boreas. He's not but a mad tyrant, most would say. High on the power he has been given. This damned storm testifies to that. But in fact, he's not more than a means to an end. We Immaculates made a deal with him, you see. We get his star stone. He gets dominion over this land. Ah, I see. So you say you're privy to high-level information. That's right, mon cher. But what incentive have I to open up to a so recently arrived stranger as yourself? You may be tantalizingly intriguing, but still, I'm left wanting more. I wish to do no harm with this information, and seek only to understand more about the goings-on in this strange place. Alright, uh, usually he goes for paper, so... Scissors? Yes. And then he follows up with rock, which we go with paper. Yeah, no, okay, so I get it. I get the predictability there. And a terribly strange place it is, love. What would you like to know? Well, can you tell me what you're doing here? We Immaculates were sent here to render the wicked white witch unto the king of this winter country, Boreas. From his cells, no one escapes. And a good thing that is too. For it is said the witch is a danger to our beloved conduit. She who speaks for the goddess. While we were here, we also slaughtered a host of imps to create a great bloodstone for our mistress. A daring few escaped, and we immaculate set out to capture them. As we ventured into the wilds, however, the elements seemed to have come unhinged. This blizzard began to rage and hasn't ceased for a moment since. And, to compound the disaster, elemental soldiers themselves have gone on the attack. To what end, we can only guess. Many of us have fallen, and now we are stuck here amid the storm, daring not to venture from our campfires into the tundra. Okay, what are the imps doing in this realm? They are builders, slaves. They came from another plane where demons hold sway, but somehow they escaped. Escape from fiery dungeons to become prison builders for a king of ice and frost. I suppose the dopey little buggers couldn't have known that they'd be sacrificed for the greater good. 
But I don't suppose a chicken knows it'll be dinner either. Why are the elements hostile to us then? Your guess is as good as ours. They seem to have lost whatever minds they ever had since the blizzard hit. There seems to be a great imbalance within the elements. Better get out of here before it reaches critical mass. Uh, tell me more about the bloodstone being made here. The Blessed One is there still, in the elemental forge to the north, awaiting the deliverance of the last of her imp sacrifices. Okay, what exactly is this elemental forge? It is exactly what it says. A forge so powerful, one can tame the elements inside its flames. The imps used it to create their impish devices. Now the Immaculates are using it to forge a staff. But I probably shouldn't say more. Understandable. Is there a way into Boreas's fortress that you know of? Through the front door, of course. It's locked and bolted, though, for only a select few among us have the privilege of meeting with him directly. I have not, but the conduit and her personal guard have. I see. I am looking for the White Witch, actually. Enjoy the search, Wanderer. She's King Boreas's charge now, and none has ever escaped from his winter prison. In that case, I need to find a way into the prison. I'm afraid I don't know of a way, nor do I want to. If anyone would know, though, I'd bet it's an imp. You had better find a live one before we do. We don't ask questions. We kill. Understandable. I'll take my leave, then. <laughs> Works out. Oh, oh. Whoops. Alright, it was not worth looking into that box, but I guess it happened. Oh well. Alright, Marcus, throw down the skelly boy. Well, they proved to be help more helpful than uh, most others, so I guess it's fine. It works out. <laughs> Ah, you used the bomb. I see. All right. Okay, we can go for the charm attempt on somebody. Or we could go summon Nick or literally anybody else. Well, it costs 4 AP to uh, use an attack, so we're gonna... I guess we'll summon the skeleton here. Alright, we'll deal with the wolf here next. Okay, that only does so much though, which sucks. Okay, you attack with against the undead swordsman. Shouldn't be too hard to deal with though. Get a slice there. Get a sneak attack here. Or a bleed attack rather, I should say. And our turn there. Okay, the duelist comes into play. Oh, forced Fob Fobzio to stand. Interesting. Try again. All right, I guess we go for the Wolf Master here. Get two slices off. Why not? Okay, Marcus, we want you to go into melee power stance. Uh, if we use this, we will have one more point off to work with. So I guess, let's see, three, six, nine. So we don't want to use, uh, we don't want to use the abilities just yet. Rather, we want to use this chance to get as much attacks as possible. Okay, the wolves are out of the fight, which is good. Can now take out Fabio here. Tame White Wolves are currently out of combat, mourning the death of their master. Makes things a bit more convenient for us, that's for sure. Hey, Fobzio! Join us. And we will move out of the way. That way we're not in the uh, fire anymore. <laughs> My good man, Fobzio. Join the fight. 
And Fabzio shall help us by... Oh, freezing the archer. That's good. <laughs> Alright, that's a cripple for the undead swordsman. Uh, nullify resistances has failed. Oh, that is another frozen. Oh, I see. That's convenient. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Okay, I guess we're taking out... Well, if we use fast track here, that'll make us a bit faster. Failed to apply the haste. Okay, rip. We can still go for you, though. Yeah, let's go for the Immaculate. Let's see. If we go over here, that's going to be two. We'll activate this so we can trip the uh, Swordsman. There we go. End our turn there. The wolf is going after Fabzio, which is good. Steve can throw in another summon here, I suppose. Uh, we'll get Nick if we can. Yeah, let's get Nick in here. And let's move Steve a bit further here. There we go. Get a strike on the Immaculate here. Uh, let's get two. There we go. Alright. Fabzio goes in for the attack on the Tamed White Wolf. Alright. Take out the Immaculate here. And we'll take out... Well, we'll hold off on the uh, other... I guess we take out the Immaculate Duelist here. Still frozen, surprisingly enough. And it is now crippled, meaning more damage. <laughs> Alright, Wolf is going for Marcus. Okay, now Fabzio is against us. But we can easily uh, resolve that instance by throwing down a frozen attack. There we go. He is now frozen. We will throw this against Fabzio real quick. Boom. Go for the leg. And then strike at the Immaculate. Well, no. Let's move over so that we can get closer to the Duelist. End our turn there. Now we deal with the other Duelist here. Well, we, we deal with the Duelist in general. Alright, the wolf is going after Marcus, that's fine. Okay, Fabzio is now diseased. But that is not going to stop us from shocking him. We failed to get the stun off though. But that's fine. We can use this chance to get an Oath of Desecration on... Marcus? Yeah, let's give, give it to Marcus so he has a boost to damage. Okay, Fabzio is going to run off, get some distance. And he fails to target Steve, thankfully. Which is good. Alright. We'll have uh, Nick attack the Tamed White Wolf here as his last turn. Alright. We get an attack or two off on the Tamed White Wolf here. There we go. And we'll begin to move. Okay. We can probably get away with a strike against Fabzio if we are careful about it. And you know what? Let's do it. We just barely got the hit, I think. Yep, there we go. He is nearly dead. And we can actually go for the two strike here. There we go. Kill. We will quickly down some uh, poison. Bitter chill. 
whatever. Cool. Uh, he who smelts it. There we go, got handcrafted boots. basically cleared the area. Alright, we'll stuff some poison down here real quick. Get some uh, recover going. There we are. And hey, at the very least we managed to get a ton of information from them. So that works for me. Alright, Marcus, get in there. There we go. Alright, both have recovered significantly. That's good enough for me. Okay, that Thunderbolt grenades are always appreciative. And I think there's more to it, but we just gotta be careful about it, really. Let's see. Wooden crates. Oh, that's more. The hell is that? Okay. Let's go check it out. Why not? Oh. Uh, let's do a quick save here. Probably gonna lead into some more fights, most likely, knowing our luck. Hello. What are you doing here? You must be mad to venture out in this storm, unless you have a very good reason indeed. I guess I was drawn to you like a moth to a flame. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Rock. Okay, so you got a paper, so you're gonna go with... Alright, so you're gonna go... Oh! Well, you beat me. A shame. <laughs> You're a stupid little moth, then, for this flame is about to devour you. Cut the stranger open, immaculates. Its blood will warm our souls. Well, that's a shame. Oh well. <laughs> it seems the charm did not work this time. Oh well. Alright, let's summon ourselves a little bomber boy. Here we are. Alright, let us activate the stance. And we can either charge or we can go with fast track. I'm gonna go for the charge here though. Let's see, we wanna charge all the way to the back. There we go. Okay. Shame that didn't work, but that's fine. We can uh, just utilize other methods. Let us summon ourselves uh, our OG Giga Chad Nick. And let us begin. We're gonna move back a bit so we got some more space to work with. And so our bomber boy can uh, get some real damage out. Don't. Okay, thankfully you targeted. Target the ground. Okay, I can tolerate that. Ah, you just took out the bomber boy. Great. Oh well. Okay, you managed to take out Nick really quick. Okay. That changes things immense. Hmm. Oh, well. <laughs> the mecha rodent's going crazy, it seems. Well, at least I saved beforehand, so if it does go awry, I'm gonna try the diplomacy get a check again. It really just comes down to luck at that point. Alright, the reprogrammed mecha rodent is going at us. Let's see, can we get a summon off?
Alright, we can, technically. Yeah, let's go after the marksman, I suppose. There we go. And we'll get the two hits on the marksman. There we go, that's one kill. I guess we take out Elisa here with a trip. Snare of the scoundrel. There we go. Some big damage there. Oh, it's his turn again. Cool. Convenient. Your brain opens to welcome you. <laughs> and now we got Vernon here. Alright, we're gonna go for the... I guess we go for the Thross, and we'll go target Beth here. There we go. Freezing failed, but it is an icy area now. Oh. Seems, uh... Seems one was brought back. Okay, interesting. Okay, uh, Elisa was actually brought back. Okay, cool. I'll just knock her down again, I suppose. There you go. We're gonna go for the stun on the, uh... I guess the engineer here. There you go. A stun. And let's see, what can I do? I, I can give Marcus a buffer to damage, I suppose. There we go. That'll give him a nice boost of 40 damage percent. Okay. Marcus gets hit a few times. That's fine. Hopefully he doesn't die, though, at this rate. <laughs> I guess we target Beth next. Okay, we can get another attack for three. There we go. And we will try the fast track, which gets us haste. Nice. Jeez. Okay. Uh, we're gonna go for the charm spell on the engineer here. There we go. That'll give us some more leeway to work with. And I guess we'll move up through here. It'll take some burn damage, but that's fine. Ah! Even more fire, I see. Not fun. Okay, Vernon is doing some massive heals here. Not fun, but okay. Okay, the Inspire goes off. Hits Marcus. Thankfully, the Engineer has the Mecha Rodent now dealt with. To a degree, anyways. <laughs> okay, Elemental Absorption, nice. Alright. We want to do a full rush here. There we go. That gets Beth down. Now we just take out Beth real quick. There we go. Alright, we can get some poison going on Marcus if we so desire. Or we can take out Beth right here and now. Or we go for Vernon. I'm going to heal Marcus real quick. And I can actually get two shots on Beth while she's down. And that's enough to kill. Nice. Okay, that just leaves him and the Immaculate Engineer thankfully enthralled, so that's good. We'll just continue to smack Vernon then. Take him down, or try to anyways. That's a cripple. That deals more damage. There we go. And we even got the stun. 
Okay, we can do some creative uh, shenanigans, I suppose, if we really wanted to. Yeah, if we do... Okay, we can target the Immaculate Engineer now, and we will... Uh... Target is not blocked, okay. Here we go. Just go for the right foot here. Boom. They both take damage for being close range. And can I get some healing before I uh, end turn? Cost three, two to use a smaller item. Yeah, no, most of it's a bit too costly, so no go. Ow. Okay. We target the engineer first. There we go. Now for Vernon, which we miss. Okay. Now it's Steve's turn. We are going to quickly give him some poison water. No, we need something better. Uh, it's not enough, so we're just going to have to go with the reliable here. Okay, that's enough, I think. Okay, we're going to go for the Blitz Bolt. Hopefully that stuns the Mecha Rodin. It does, thankfully. Alright, Vernon goes with the healing. He's going to try and res, which he does get, leaving Eliza. Okay, managed to get the chill. Nice, good job for you. Still not enough to take us out, though. Alright, take you out. And now we got you, Vernon. That gives you a cripple status. Okay, we could probably get the frost off. There we go. Managed to get the frozen, nice. Uh, we did get stunned though, that sucks. <laughs> and Vernon just continues to heal and heal and heal. So until we deal with that, is gonna stay up. Come on. Go down. Alright, that's nearly death. I'm gonna save the adrenaline for later. Oh, he's still trying his best to heal. <laughs> but it's still not enough. Come on. Down you go. Last hit. I can't believe you did this. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go for the stun on the Mecha Rodent again. Oh, thankfully, we managed to do it. And now we can uh, poison Vernon. And we should get the kill. Nice. We didn't get the best results out here, but... Eh, it's fine. out of them, but you can only do so much. For now, though, let's start providing healing. Goodness knows we need more of it. Uh, let's see. In fact, you know what? Let's get some poison water going while I heal Marcus. There we go. Hmm. Okay, there we go. Heal up. Alright, real quick. Clear this up. And there we go. It sucks that we can't do anything beyond this, but it's fine. Target... I guess we can't talk with the rabbit, so that's fine, but we can get to this portal, which is nice. That is certainly something. Okay, that does leave uh, this area, so let's see who this warden is. We'll do a quick save. 
we have already uh, gone through this, so we're just gonna deal with the consequences of killing those guys, but whatever. going on bunny the elements are going wild where's the fire king when you need him okay You know what? I think I know what's happened. The scar-faced warden got his nose bit off, which was his carrot. And that's the rabbit. What? Sorry. Yeah, so what? Alright. Uh, let's see, if we go for the charge, then we'll have enough mana to... Okay, we don't get the trip off, but we can try again. There we go. Now he can't do a dang thing. We can now go for the poison here. Uh, he is immune to poison, unfortunately, which sucks, but that's fine. We can use the Oath of Desecration here to give Marcus a booster. And now he has a turn to just get up. Or try to, but he fa he doesn't. Okay, that's good. We can use the wind-up toy if we really wanted to. In fact, I am going to. Because he is basically a bomb set to explode. Okay. Fade, we get the stun and cripple, but we can use fast track, and we got the haste, luckily. Okay. While he is prone, he won't be able to do a dang thing, so... Instead, I think I'm just going to focus by pelting him with normal attacks. Basically, get what I can. There we go. Okay. We don't necessarily need to have to uh, kamikaze, so we'll just attack the Scar-Faced Warden. Just get small attacks, I guess. And we'll move one AP over. Here we go. Okay, I think it's in our best interest to actually just go over here and just go boom. Boom. That works. <laughs> Tell me a bit about yourself. I'm Hopper, wooer of does, lover of carrots, and devotee of jumps and skips. Up to it, that's my motto. Clever, huh? Is there anything you could tell me about this domain? This is the land of fairy, the best realm of wonder. But sadly, you have to be near its most charmless spot, the dungeon keep of the fairy king, where the worst of all the worlds are gathered. Boreas is the king's name. He is winter incarnate. And ever since he's become the ruler of this land, we've been living in eternal snow. Luckily, my coat is as warm and cuddly as it looks. <laughs> or my tender little ticker would have stopped hopping a long time ago. What do you know about King Boreas? Nothing much. Only saw him once. And I nearly froze my tail off just looking at the can. You'd better bring some fire and brimstone to the table if you plan on having a hop with that insane icicle. If anyone's responsible for the mayhem around here lately, it's him. I'm looking for the White Witch. Got any pointers for me? You're looking 
for a witch? Want her to turn you into a rabbit? Or a frog, perhaps? Those are good offers, too, frogs. Yes, I have a great respect for those fellows. Sorry, <laughs> I tend to ramble. So, let me hop right to the point. If you're looking for someone here in Iberhive, chances are they're locked up in the prison. The maniac Snow King Boreas keeps all prisoners sent to his realm locked up within. Your hopping days are over when he gets his hands on you. Alright, how do I get to the prison? Beats me. I don't even know where it is. But maybe you should hop over and ask the king himself. <laughs> Is there any way bor into Boreas' fortress that you know of? Let me think. A chasm surrounds the castle, but I know of a spot where it's narrow enough to hop right over. From the look of you, you'll probably end up as a red stain on the chasm floor, should you attempt that jump. <laughs> but I guess it wouldn't hurt to show you the place I mean. Follow me. Alright. Gold, oh, then. Junk. Oh, hush up. Marcus. Okay, so he's going all the way over to here. And we do have a teleport spell, so it's not like it's impossible to get where we're looking for. Ah, I see. Hello. Okay. Interesting. So if we have a way to get uh, Steve across, then we can uh, actually make that gap then. Alternatively, I guess we go through the front door, but I don't think they're accepting visitors. At least from personal opinions, anyways. Alright, but we've explored quite a bit so far. I do believe we need to go down here to try and get to the treasure room, though, specifically. Or at the very least, get to the wishing well, which I do believe is what we need right now. Oh, hold on. More rabbits. Okay, I guess we'll talk to you real quick. No, you're just running off. Okay, never mind. Okay. Ah, hello. Hold on. Let's save real quick. Oh, hi. The Guardian. Hello. Ah, uh, this might be concerning. But this is the way to the well, so... I think it's necessary that we do this. Alright. Let's activate our ability. Let's get ourselves a wind-up toy active. There we go. And let us use fast track here. Before we uh, move, uh, let's say over here. We are going to buff up Marcus like crazy, I think. Yeah, we'll get Marcus up. We'll boost up his bless there. And we're going to move over here. Okay. We're going to have our Exploda Skeleton go over. And kaboom. There we go. <laughs> the burn. <laughs> okay, he uses hammer time to get the knockdown. Still not enough to deal with us, though. Okay. If we go for the knockdown here, that'll give an oil slick. There we go, and he's on fire again. Uh, we can summon a skeleton to temporarily take the brunt, so we'll summon that there. Alright. Gonna try and get the bleed. We'll probably fail, yep. Immune to bleed. But we can get some slashes in. Still not enough to deal significant damage though, so we'll just deal what we can. Okay. He's going, he's going. 
Okay. Let's see. Okay, we can go for the stun here, I think. Stun failed. Okay, that failed, but we can get the grease fire going. We'll send that over here. There we go. Now he is hot on fire. Burning has failed though, but that's fine. Oh, he's going for the hit. Oh, no, he's doing a freeze. Or trying a freeze. Okay, yeah, no, he's got a lot of damage output going. Okay, poison. And I guess we're moving over here. Oh, whoops. Okay, I guess we're tripping. Get another attack in. Okay. We probably are going to lose to this Guardian here. At the rate we're going. Considering how much damage he's taking, which is minuscule at best. Okay. What are you going to do? Okay, you do hammer time again. Which is going to start getting annoying at this rate. Do we have anything that can help with that? Let's see. Uh, we could summon a fire elemental here. Why not? Alright, let's summon a fire elemental right over here. There you go. Perfect. Hello, Fire Elemental. We're then gonna just start pelting the Guardian, I guess. Get a stun going and try. Alright, that's a fail. Okay. I guess we can oil it up right here. It's not gonna help us, though. We'll heal Marcus, though, before we go. There we go. That'll get some healing there. Okay, elemental sp splash there. There we go. Alright, fire surface. There we go. Okay, he's targeting Marcus again. Okay, what is the Guardian weak to? Hmm. I guess we can start pelting him, see what works. Okay, that doesn't do anything. Maybe there's a specific... Oh, do we have to send him through here? Maybe we have to, actually. Hold on. Maybe we teleport him. Alright, let's do a distraction then. Okay, Marcus. Oh. Okay, he's going for... Try to go for Steve. Okay, if I target the Guardian here... Now, if we get Marcus here, then we can uh, get him over here. That'll save him some trouble. Then we get Steve going. There we go. <laughs> He's gonna try and run now. Oh! I see, you've resorted to using Steve as a punching bag now. I do believe that is magma, though. If we can get a... Uh, let's see, do we have any scrolls that can help stand him up? One second. Uh, sort by latest added, I guess. Uh, no, let's go by gold value, I suppose. Let's see. We've got invisibility, we've got ice elemental. Deadly spores. Uh... We need something that will help him stand up more than anything.
Uh, petrified, slow, and stunned. Uh, fire surface, burning, warm. Okay, freezing touch, no. Rain scroll, thunder jump. If we had a teleport scroll, this would be a lot easier. Let's use invisibility here. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, I see. That turns it into magma. Nice. It's exactly what I wanted. Okay. Okay, let's go for the haste here. Well, hold on. Let's, uh... 1 AP here, I guess. Zero AP. Come on, wildfire. There we go. Gets the haste. Let's use barbed wire, actually. There we go. End our turn there. Steve is currently knocked down still. Oh, pain. Don't you dare. Alright, trip. Failed, okay. Maybe attack? Nope, never mind. Alright, perfect, Steve. You're up. Are you kidding? Stop tripping him. Uh, okay. Alright, fine. Explode a skeleton. Let's get some fodder in the, in the field. Alright. I blocked, thankfully. Well, what's this I've spotted? Oh, there's a uh, secret there. I'm gonna move over here. Maybe over here in particular. Let's see, can I pass this off? Nope. Okay, the hasten and warm comes in. Alright, let's wait. Please, target Marcus. Don't target anybody else. Okay, thank you. Okay, don't don't you dare. Please. Please don't do it. Don't do it. Don't knock down him. Knock down Marcus. Whew. Okay. Now I can make this work. Okay, if we move... Are you kidding? Are you kidding? I am mad. I'm so mad. You. Can we not? Okay, so we can't target you here. Okay, 1 AP worth. Just do calm walking. Okay. Alright, Marcus, I'm gonna have to do a very particular move, okay. I'm gonna get provoked, obviously. That's fine. This works out just right. Then I should be able to make it just barely. Okay. Now this should work. Okay, I get tripped. That's fine. Does he go over to Marcus, though? That is the question. 
That is the question. Does he go? Uh, no. He's, uh... Sort of locked, isn't he? Hmm. Okay, you're gonna go for... Hastened and Warm. Okay. Pop this open, I guess. Ah, there we go. Oh! <laughs> Heavily going for Marcus, it seems. Oh, I see. You're just gonna... Okay. Can't really do much about it, though. Hmm. Alright, let's back off. Okay, so the lava currently isn't doing much here. All right, end our turn there. Oh, the Guardian has tripped over himself, that's good. Let's see, does the wind-up toy die when it's placed here? No, thankfully not. Okay, we're just gonna have Marcus go across. We'll have you be bait. Okay. Okay, because the middle is currently off, we're gonna have Steve or Marcus stand here. Alright. Gonna set that poison down so we can get some heal in. There we go. The Guardian goes in. And now, we'll, I guess we'll see, won't we? Okay, he's reached that point. Let's see if we can uh, get the distraction off. Or at least get the burn so that way he's going to die. Hopefully the Exploded Skeleton does its job, but I guess we'll see. I don't know if that did it, but I hope it did. Kind of just winging it for the best. Okay. Alright, if we do that, then we summon a Skeletal Warrior here. Okay, that doesn't do anything. Okay, Marcus, well, I guess we do this. Okay, Marcus is gonna die at this rate. Hopefully not, but we'll see. Alright, first let's down a vial of some kind. Poison water, I guess. Alright, we guess we down two, that's fine. As long as we can survive the hit. Okay, will this do? I have no idea what this does. Ah, 
I think we need to flee combat. Yeah. We're gonna flee combat here. <laughs> it's not the best outcome. However, however, we have unlocked the gate, technically. Uh, that does leave Marcus, though, who will, uh... Oh, I guess we can have him flee as well. Yeah, thank you. And now the dude can't really do anything. <laughs> Alright, so for Steve, we're gonna just start pelting Marcus with healing. It's the weirdest outcome for a fight, but it works out, I think. Okay, heal up Marcus once more. There we go. Uh, Hyberheim Lava Pits are a thing, but we don't worry about that just yet, I don't think. To my knowledge, anyways. Alright, let's just heal ourselves now. Okay. And now we just gotta find a prime opportunity to actually raid that area. Because I think this will be the last thing I do, trying to save the well. So yeah, hold on. Let's see. Uh, we don't go this way. Wait, hold on. No, we don't go that way. Definitely not. Air elementals, fire elementals, ice elementals. What the heck's going on here? You know what? Let's check this out and let the let's let this be the last thing. Hello. Well, hello. I'll rip them, I guess. We get experience though, so I'm not complaining. Although the ice elementals need to go, though. Okay, we're gonna summon ourselves a skelly boy. Activate the extra damage boost before we go in for the charge. Here we go. We're gonna go for the magical poison dart here. There you go. That'll leave a poison area and some poison to work with. We'll also leave down some oil. Okay, are you gonna... Oh, yep, you've just ignited everything. Nice. <laughs> Convenient for us, at the very least. Alright, we'll go for you. Oh, not if we trip. Okay, we can't go with the head vice, but we can summon something, I suppose. We're gonna summon ourselves Nick the Big Chad. And we will be on our merry way. Let's just hope the smog clears, but otherwise we'll just have to uh, take out the fire elemental, worst case. And we'll see. Okay, fire elemental is going, and going to probably shoot. Alright, first the Ice Elemental, get the disease off, and we move in for the attack. Alright, cool. The Ice Elemental goes for Marcus, who is knocked prone, which sucks, but eh, it happens. Okay, Fire Elemental is moving, and... So cold here. Yeah, I guess we just deal with the Fire Elemental. Done. All right, Marcus. Come on, up you get. Her 
essence. Okay, come on. Seriously. Oh. Okay, so it appears that there's fiery uh, pit. I think this is going to wrap it up here. Ow. C could you stop, please? Alright, hold on. L let me back out of here first before we uh, end it off. <laughs> Last thing we need is to uh, get crushed by... Wrap it off here. We, don't we did manage to get quite a bit far. We managed to get clear this area, managed to clear majority of this area. We still need to save the uh, well bros, so we will be doing that next stream immediately. So once we get to that point, we will save him. And yeah, uh, yeah, I think we're pretty good to go. For those of you on YouTube, like, subscribe, comment, hit the bell notification if you want to see more stuff. I stream daily, so if you're going to catch my streams, you can catch me 3 to 7 MST time. If you want to catch my streams, the best way to do so is either search me up at FYIPon at YouTube.com or Twitch.tv at slash FYIPon. Uh, alternatively, if you check my channel, you should be able to find the About section. If you scroll down, you should be able to find the YouTube or Twitch link to my Twitch channel. Uh, otherwise, you can scroll down below into the description. There should be a link for my Twitch channel. Click that and you should be redirected. For those of you on Twitch, or those of you from YouTube coming from Twitch, welcome. Your support is always appreciated. If you want to support me, the best way you can do so is provide me follows. The more follows I have, the more content I give you guys. Once I hit 50 uh, follows and I get 3 concurrent viewers for my streams, I should be able to apply for affiliate status, which will allow me to get revenue and will allow me to give you guys more stuff, because you usually get more advances and stuff when you uh, do that stuff. But yeah. Your support is always appreciated. I won't force it, just do what you want, but if you're willing to support me, that is the best way to do so. But yeah, if you, if those of you on YouTube or Twitch want to follow me on YouTube, the best way to do so is search me up at youtube.com uh, via FYMIPON. Alternatively, if you scroll down from the Twitch or, uh, the Twitch stream, you should see a YouTube photo between the four options there. If you click the YouTube photo, it will redirect you to my YouTube channel. Alternatively, if you're watching in VODs, you can check down in the VODs description, and you can scroll down, and you should see a link there for uh, my YouTube channel. And if you copy and paste that, that should direct you to my YouTube channel. But yeah. If you want to support me, the best way to do so is follows right now, uh, subscriptions, liking the video, literally anything you can do to help me out. It's all appreciated, and I really, I really do like it. Well, I really do appreciate it, but yeah. Uh, but yeah, I digress. If you guys want to find my older videos since day one, the best way to do so is on YouTube. It has everything there, so if you want to watch something specific, it's there. If you want to watch my newer videos, uh, namely what I do most recently, you can check out my YouTube channel, or my Twitch channel, as that should have about six videos of uh, new content that you can uh, watch any given day of the week. But I digress. I hope you guys enjoyed today's stream. I know I did. And I'll see you guys next stream. Take care, guys, and have a good day.